praying people are very dangerous people. Even when they are weak, be careful. Jesus said in Luke 18, men ought to always, say always. Not every now and then, but what? Always to pray and not to. And one thing you must do, whether you are loaded or broke, never stop praying. Because God is always counting on your prayers to carry out his will on earth. Always. He's counting on your prayers. And I'm telling you, praying people, they never go wrong. I'm telling you. I'm yet to see one praying person. I'm telling you. Who missed it? Even when they fall, they rise. Amen. All right. So I just want to congratulate you and thank you for being an intercessor. One of the greatest teachers of all time, Charles Spurgeon, he said something. He said something very powerful. He said, I will rather train one person to pray than to teach ten people to preach. It means that Everybody can teach, but not everybody can pray. Ah, come on, somebody, put your hands together if you're a praying person. Where is Ife? Go with me quickly. Look at, I want to show you two things and then I want us to pray quickly. Uh, Isaiah chapter 10, 1 and 2. Isaiah 10, 1 and 2. Micah 2, 1 to 3. Look at something. Woe unto them that decree a righteous decree. So there are people, you know, when I was an unbeliever, eh, we used to go places and we would get people to write people's name and to write what we want. Sometimes even the name of girls you want and they don't want to, you write their names. And they do some things and the girl will like you. Hey Charlie, there are things though. This is serious, serious, serious stuff, Amen. But there are people who make that. They, you go to them and they will, they will write what you want and it becomes a decree and a law. Then they will let you bury it, take it to places, do all kinds of things with people's name. Today we are declaring anyone that has taken our name anywhere or the name of our children anywhere and has written anything by any means, whatever they used to write, Whatever the pen is, whether it's white or black or red, whatever they have written as a decree in the spirit against you and your children and your business and your loved one. Today, by the blood of Jesus, we abolish that decree. Say abolish. Say whatever they have buried against us, we uproot. And whatever they have released, we intercept. Do you see sometimes when they send missiles to Israel and then Israel will intercept it? Uh -huh. That is what prayer does. Any missile, any arrow they have released between now and 31st December and beyond to cause pain or grief or shame or disappointment in the name of Jesus, reproach, disgrace, scandal. Say in the name of Jesus, we intercept. Put your hands and say intercept. In the name of Jesus, amen. Finish it quickly, finish it. And that right grievousness which they have prescribed. They will prescribe. You know when you go to a doctor, eh? They prescribe medicine. Okay? In the spirit world, they prescribe things. There are families where there is a particular prescription in that family of a particular sickness. There are families where people do well, they go to school, they make money, but they can never marry. Or they marry, they can never have children. Or they have children and the marriage must break. I mean, I've seen too many interesting things. I was dealing with a situation when I lived in America of a particular family where 
when the daughters of that family, when they marry, they can't have children. But they can have children when they are dating without marriage. You know what I said? Yeah. When they are not married, they can have children by sleeping with men. They will have children. But as soon as they marry, they will do everything they can have children. It's a prescription. Certain families, there are certain kind of sickness and diseases in that family. And you see everybody from grandmother, grandfather, everybody has that sickness. Today, we decree divine exemptions. Say divine exemptions. Say by the blood of the covenant, we intercept and override and we abolish demonic prescriptions which they have prescribed for me and my family and my bloodline on the ground of any covenant technicality legality or an evil altar in my bloodline paterna and materna in the name of Jesus by the blood of that covenant say I am known every technicality legality legal grounds occasion advantage every covenant demonic altar and the curse of that altar and of that covenant today by the blood of the covenant I am all I know I know put your hands together I know in the name of Jesus now lift your hand say now I command divine exemptions and divine escapes from the consequence of the covenants of the evil altar I connect to this God altar to this holy altar and by the connection to this altar I annul override every other altar in my father's house my mother's house and in the name of Jesus I annul any demonic prescription which they have prescribed to determine the outcome of my life and my circumstances to disadvantage me to hijack my inheritance my possession to divert my blessing and to give my honor to another say in the name of Jesus I am all override and overturn put your hands together in the name of Jesus give me Micah Micah chapter 2 from 1 to 3 I'm giving you ammunition when you get to fire are you hearing me don't just read it hear me reading the Bible doesn't give you an advantage it gives you knowledge it is when you enforce proclaim with your mouth say faith the word of God is released by my mouth it's when you declare with your mouth then God is under obligation to do it not when you read it not when you put it under your pillow go ahead you see another war if you go to if you go to Isaiah 10 1 it's the same thing he said what woe to them here too he said what woe to them so there are them say them all the them do is to plot evil devices against innocent people them whoever the them are in the name of the let curse be upon them let the curse of God come upon them. Let the them be a curse. And let them disappear from the face of the earth. In the name of Jesus. Them that devise our head. Them that devise mischiefs. Them that devise conspiracy to our head and demise. 
let them disappear from the face of the earth. Put your hands together and decline them. 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 In the name of Jesus. Finish it. Woe to them that devise iniquity. Iniquity. Wickedness. And walk evil upon their beds. Uh -huh. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Whatever power the them are using. Jesus. Whatever power it is, Jesus. let them lose that power. Lose power. Whether the them are in your father's house, your mother's house, hey. at the marketplace, politically, spiritually, whoever they are, whatever power they are using, Jesus. let them lose the power. Lose Put your hands up, command them to lose it. We cut the power of your hand. Cut it off in the name of Jesus. Cut it off your hand. In the name of Jesus. Finish. Finish. Because it is in the power of their hands. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And they convert fields. They what? Convert fields. Say an evil eye. An, an evil, evil eye. eye. Tell somebody, somebody has his eye. On your field, on your field. Yeah. And uh, they convert fields. Fields. And take them by violence. Take them by violence and houses and houses and take them away do you know somebody has his eyes on your house ah. somebody is driving looking at your house hey so who's that that machine when we block that eye pierce that eye in the name of Jesus. anyone who has imagined something eh? once how many of you are married give me a wave of how many of you are married okay how many of you are not married some of you, you know why you are not married? I'll show you. Somebody, somebody has tied your husband up. Somebody has tied your wife up. Next week, eh? Next week, one of the prayers we are going to pray. We are going to pray to lose your husband. Lose your wife. Lose your field. Lose your houses. Lose your lands. Anyone that has tied and bind your destiny your future your children will lose them say loose next week eh, i want you to bring two requests not more than two just two requests of what you want god to do between now and 31st december two requests just two. bring it places on this altar are you hearing me yeah yeah we will pray at midnight before you come and pour oil on the altar. Come and put your request here. Let every unanswered prayer be answered. Amen. Uh, but let me finish this. Let me finish. There's something I have to do quickly. Come with me to 1 Kings chapter 20, verse 1 to 6, quickly, and then I want to end it there. Look at something. Uh -huh. And Ben Hadda, the king of Syria, Ben Hadda. That spirit, that spirit of Ben Hadda is still working on. Spirits don't die. Go ahead. And Ben Hadda, the king of Syria, mm -hmm. gathered all his hosts together. Mm -hmm. And there were thirty and two kings with him. Uh -huh. And horses and chariots. And he went up and Somebody says, We scattered demonic cartels. We scattered demonic cartels. <laughs> Say we scatter. We scatter. Demonic reinforcement. Demonic reinforcement. Home and abroad. Home and abroad. Domestic, and external. Domestic and external. Within and without. Within and without. Say we break their ranks. Put your hands together. Break their ranks. Scatter them. We scatter their ranks. We break their ranks. In the name of Jesus. Whoever they are. Whatever they gather. We scatter their ranks. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead. And there were 13 and 2 kings with him uh -huh. and horses uh -huh. and chariots yes, sir. and he went up and besieged Samaria uh -huh. and warred against it say every demonic besiegement every demonic besiegement we break through it so we, we break through the defenses of the enemy around us and our goods and our children and our loved ones and our nation so we bring down demonic satanic 
defenses. Break it now in the name of your Put your hands. Break. Put your hands. Break it. Break. 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 In the name of Go ahead. Tomorrow evening we are fasting and we are praying. Remember every Friday we fast and pray. These short, short prayers, they don't last though. We need time to bow and to... The Bible says, when my heart is overwhelmed, I will cry out from the ends of the earth. Lead me to a rock that is higher than... You know, you know in this kingdom, eh, everything that lasts is through travail. If you don't travel, like a woman goes to the hospital and to the labor to travel, you don't bring forth anything. So there are people with dreams, desires, expectations, great visions. It's not happening. You know why? Because they haven't traveled. And travel is a deep place of prayer. Well, mm, give me traveling mothers here. Mothers who have had babies before. Ask them. They'll tell you. Sometimes when I see women go and have babies and they come back and they want to go again, I look at them and say, now, Eddie, any second? But um, because when you have been to the neighborhood several times, I didn't like to be there. Sometimes the, my spiritual daughters will insist, I want my father there. Then the husband will come in. Papa, your daughter wants you. I say, want me here for what? Is you do, did it. Carry your thing. Pray. I'll teach you. And they, they, they say, no, no, Papa. He say, he want you here. And I go there and I'm praying and I'm looking another direction and I'm praying. Father, in the name of Jesus. And you, you can hear them. Mm, ah, ah, oh. You want breakthrough? You have to get to a place of prayer where you can. Ah. Are you hearing me? This kind of prayers you are praying is too comfortable. You are not feeling anything. That's why you pray like you are romancing God. Uh -huh. When you are in pain, you pray proper prayer. Go ahead, look at it. Mm -hmm. And he sent messengers to Ahab, uh -huh. king of Israel, uh -huh. into the city. Listen. And said unto him, uh -huh. Thus said ben uh -huh. Thy Whatever the enemy have said, whatever they have declared in secret, in private, or in public where we are concerned and our children and possession and loved one are concerned in the name of the Lord Jesus let their words lose potency let their words in the name of Jesus lose the power and the ability to work we take away the potency of their words command their words to backfire in the name of Jesus say let their words and pronouncement backfire 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 in the name of Jesus go ahead thy silver and thy gold is mine here here he said what thy silver and thy gold somebody is has interest in your silver and your gold that's why some of you you don't have silver and you don't have gold because somebody has established interest in your silver and interest in your gold so there is an ongoing contention over your gold and your silver that's why you don't have it you should have had it by now but somebody has established interest in what is yours it's like you go and buy a land in Canada you buy a land I bought land you buy a land you have your documents and somebody else has established an interest in your land so there's a contention you have the money to build you can't build because someone else has interest in it anyone who has interest in our silver and in our gold whoever they are wherever they are we command them to disappear put your hands together command them disappear 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 in the name of jesus disappear in the name of Go ahead. Thy silver and thy gold is mine. Thy wives also and thy children. Uh -huh. hey. 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 hey! You know, a young man married in this church. I know him. The, from the honeymoon night, every night when he sleeps, somebody will come and beat him. The person will beat him. He wakes up in the morning with marks on his body and tired always been beaten so when they told me i said 
asked the mother of the girl under which circumstances was she pregnant and it was established that she never got pregnant so they went to a river god in their village and did some things and she got pregnant and named the child after the river god and had to perform certain rituals and she stopped it so when they married the river god came for a claim and said this one is mine it's my wife and you you don't respect eh? so the thing came and will beat him all the time he left the girl and nobody is beating him so it's not everybody you marry uh -huh. just because they are born again don't mean you should marry them uh -huh. there are some families you go there they will beat you every night so you know why some people are not marrying because somebody a spirit have established interest in that man and in that woman so even if you marry them and you are not spiritually strong they will cause them to misbehave and show you cayenne pepper and you will say what is wrong with this man what is wrong with this woman and it will never change until you break that curse or yoke or when that marriage is no more then the person suddenly will become a very nice person why somebody has established interest somebody wants your wife and your husband and wants your children go ahead thy wives also and thy children uh -huh. even the goodliest are mine he said anything that is good in your eyes i put a claim on it that's why some of you, you don't have good things because every good thing that belongs to you somebody has established interest and as long as there is interest by somebody in it you can't have it you can go your father can leave you a will if somebody establishes a claim and he goes to court you don't have access to it until the case is settled today till the end of this year let all disputes and contentions over your silver your gold your husband your wives your children your health your goods let it be settled by the blood of Jesus, put your hands together and say, Settle. We settle the 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 be settled. In the name of Jesus. Finish, finish quickly. My time is up. The vision answered and said, My Lord, O King, according to thy saying, I am dying. Listen, when it comes to the demands of the enemy, you have to fight. Oh. Tell somebody, fight back. fight back. Don't give in. Tell somebody, don't give in. Don't give in. Fight, back. fight back. And I'll tell you why you must fight. Because if you don't fight, he will come for more. Look at it. Go ahead. Go ahead. And the messengers came again and said, They what? Came again. They what? Came again. Tell somebody, if you give in, if you give in he will come again. He will come again. Some of you are looking at me with some eye and telling the devil that me, me, I don't like fighting. Me, it's not me. It's Papa that is pushing me to say all these things. I didn't say it. It's not me. Tell somebody, you better fight back. Better fight back. You are looking at me. You dare look at me. If you don't fight back, he will what? Come for more. He will what? Come for more. He will come for more. Listen. Right. And the messengers came again and said, uh -huh. God speaketh Ben Hadad. Uh -huh. said, uh -huh. Although I have sent unto Although, the Although I came first, I'm coming again. Why? Right, listen. Although I have sent unto thee, saying, mm -hmm. Thou shalt deliver me thy silver uh -huh. and thy gold uh -huh. and thy children uh -huh. and thy wives. Uh -huh. Yet I will send my servants unto thee uh -huh. tomorrow uh -huh. about this time. Uh -huh. And they shall search thine house uh -huh. and the houses of thy servants. Uh -huh. And it shall be. That whatsoever is pleasant in thine eyes, uh -huh. shall they put? They shall put it in their hand and take it away. Uh -huh. Are you hearing me? Stop there. Today, we release our gold, in the name of Jesus. Our silver, in the name 
Wives and husbands, sons and daughters, lands and goods, properties and possessions, honor and good health, favor and glory that has been tied up, held up by another. We command the release of our gold, our silver, our sons, our marriage, our daughters, our breakthroughs, honor and glory, health and power. Release it in the name of Jesus. Put your hands together. Release it. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, lift up your right arm. Say, all oh my enemy, all oh my enemy, by the blood of the covenant, by the blood of the covenant, I decree and declare, I decree and declare. Make no mistake. Make no mistake. I will not die prematurely. I will not die prematurely. Me and my house. Me and my, house. Me and my seed. Me and my seed. And this altar. And this altar will not be victims. Will not be victims. Or casualty. Or casualty. Of any evil work. Of any evil work. Of any manipulation. Of any manipulation. Of any weapon. Of any weapon. Or programming of yours. Programming of yours. We will not be victims. We will not be victims. I will not die prematurely. I will not die, I will not die. by land, by, land. by, air. by air, by water, by water. Or, in or in my sleep, by food, by, food. by, drink. by drink, by water, by water. or by any circumstance. By I will not die, will not die. Premature. prematurely. I declare I, declare. I will outlive all my adversaries. I will outlive everyone that wishes me. I will, I will outlive them. Outlive them. Declare it in the name of Jesus. Them. I will outlive them. In the name of Jesus. All them that which is our father here. We declare in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. Thank you, Lord. Give me Proverbs 16 and 5. 16 and 6. Proverbs 16 and 6. Uh-huh. By mercy and truth, uh -huh. iniquity is purged. Yes. And by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. No, no, no. Psalm 16. Psalm 16, verse 6. Here. Sorry. 16, verse 6. That's it. The lies are falling unto me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. Now lift up both of your hands. When I'm going to speak some things, and when I say in the name of Jesus, you scream amen like a believer. Amen. I command. Let the lines of blessings. Fall for you in pleasant places. Now. Wait till I say in the name of Jesus. Because nothing happened. You see the name of Jesus is the seal. The name of Jesus is the signature. When they put Jesus in the tomb. They put the seal eh, of the emperor of Rome on it. And you break the seal before you can access. The name of Jesus is the seal. Lift up your hands. As you live here, between now and next week, and the end of this year, I command, let the lines of blessings fall for you in pleasant places. In the name of Jesus. I command the lines of long life the lines of longevity to fall for you in pleasant places in the name of Jesus I command the lines of favor to fall for you on every side in the name of Jesus I command the lines of supernatural provision to fall for you on pleasant places from today to the end of the year and beyond in the name of Jesus I command
command the lines of spiritual, financial, and political exaltations to fall for you in pleasant places from now to the end of the year and beyond. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I command the lines of goodwill to fall for you in pleasant places from now to the end of the year and beyond. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the lines of divine turnarounds fall for you and all that concerns you from now to the end of the year and beyond in the name of Jesus let the lines of good health good health good health fall for you and all that concerns you from now to the end of the year and beyond, in the name of Jesus. Let the lines of divine escapes, escapes, fall for you and all that concerns you between now and the end of this year and beyond, in the name of Jesus. Let the lines of promotion divine elevations fall for you and all that concerns you in pleasant places between now and the end of this year and beyond in the name of Jesus now let the lines of honor and riches and prosperity and wisdom and strength and glory and honor fall for you and all that concerns you in pleasant places from now to the end of the year and beyond in the name of Jesus Amen. now as we close as we close let those who hate you See your exaltation Amen. and be ashamed. Amen. I declare that all those who hate you between now and the end of this year, they will see the goodness of God in your life Amen. and they shall be greatly ashamed. Amen. I declare the Lord will show you a sign for good. And everyone that hates you, everyone that does not like you, for whatever reason, they will see God prepare you a table in the presence of your enemies and will anoint your head with oil. And his goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. Anyone that hates you, Anyone who doesn't like you politically, financially, spiritually, economically, at the home front, domestic and external, home and abroad, within and without, let them be greatly ashamed. Let them be put to shame. Put your hands as I command them to be put to shame. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now, give me, give me Jeremiah 20, 11. Let's see what is there. Is it that 20, 11 or 11, 20? Quickly. Uh, let me see. But the Lord is with me. That's it. But the As Lord a, is with me. Everybody, one, two, go. But the Lord is with me. As a mighty, terrible one. Therefore, my persecutors shall stumble. They shall not prevail. They yes, shall be greatly ashamed for their everlasting, everlasting confusion. The everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. One more time. Then, no, 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 no. Here. That is low energy. Tell somebody it's low energy. Give me high energy. Are you ready? Want to go back? The Lord is with me. As a mighty 
terrible one. Therefore, my persecutors shall stumble, and they shall not prevail. They shall be greatly ashamed, but they shall not prosper. Their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. Do you believe it? Yes. Scream! Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Most High God. Hallelujah. Welcome to another exciting edition of One Million Strong, raising one million thousands across the globe. We are standing the gap for our families. We are standing the gap for our communities. We are standing the gap for our nations. We are standing the gap for our continent. Hallelujah. Amen. And we thank God for the life of the for, for, of His Eminence, the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams whose obedience by God's grace and mercy, raising one million intercessors across the globe and embarking on one million strong intercessory prayers. Oh, God is faithful. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God that you have joined us. And if you are not part, please look on the screen. Sign up. Because the Bible says, Jesus said in Luke chapter 80 verse 1, that men always ought to pray and not to faint. And as we pray, we... We, we allow God to intervene in the affairs of men. Hallelujah. Amen. So we thank God that you have joined us. Once again, you want to set up what parties, set up watch, watch parties. You want to share this link, share and share and share. Like I always say, let this be your mode of evangelism, of helping somebody to come out of any satanic works, any satanic engagement, any satanic manipulation, depression. As you give to that person, they will come out. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My name is Bishop Fakidi Minyak of Action Chapel International, Race Committee Cathedral Kumasi, and welcome to this exciting edition of One Million Strong, 100 Days of Intensified Prayer Challenge. Testimonies are coming, mighty testimonies. Hallelujah. Amen. On this watch, you want to look at praying against wrong gates. The, year has been, the, the new year has been declared the year of open doors. But I want to come against wrong gates. Hallelujah. Amen. Say wrong gates, wrong, gates. wrong doors, wrong door. open by, by Satan in his cause. Because it's a year of open, open doors. Hallelujah. Amen. Any satanic agenda to give you the wrong door, we curse it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Any satanic agenda to give you the wrong doors, we curse it in the name Amen. of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to lift up your voice. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father on this watch, this watch, we decree and declare, Amen. let your name be glorified. Amen. Let your name be praised. Amen. Lift up your voice, begin to pray. Let the name of the Lord be glorified. Let the name of the Lord be praised. Let the name of the Lord be glorified. Let the name of the Lord be praised. Let the name of the Lord be glorified. Let the name of the Lord be praised. In the mighty, precious name of the Lord. Let the name of the Lord be glorified. Let the name of the Lord be praised. Let the name of the Lord be glorified. Let the name of the Lord be praised. In the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ, we bless the name of the Lord. We magnify the name of the Lord. We give praise to the Most High God. We exalt the name of the Lord. We exalt the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. We honor the name of the Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, say Heavenly Father, on this watch, let the precious blood of Jesus Christ that speak better things than that of Abel speak for us. Speak for us. Speak for our communities. Speak for our, our families. Speak for our nations in the name of Jesus. As we stand in the gap, as prayer watchers, we decree and declare, let the blood of Jesus Christ speak better things. Let the blood 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 speak better things. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh no. Start. In Job, Job chapter 38 and verse 17. Remember, it's a year of open doors, 5784. But we are coming against any satanic agenda to open the wrong doors and the wrong gates for us. Hallelujah. Amen. Job chapter 38, verse 17. The Bible says that have the gates of death been revealed to you? Or have you seen the doors of the shadows 
shadow of death. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father on this watch, in the gates of hell, we shut it in the name of Jesus. In the doors of the shadow of death, we shut it. 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 Programmed in a womb of time for our lives, for the Archbishop, Nicola Duncan Williams, his wife and his children, for us, our wives and our children, for our spouses, our loved ones, we decree and declare by the blood of Jesus, we shut those doors of death, gates of death, we shut them by the blood of Jesus. We shut them doors, gates of death, shut doors of death, we shut them in the name of Jesus, we shut them in the name of Jesus, we shut them in the name of Jesus. The gates of death, the shadows of death, we shut them. We shut them in the name of Jesus. We shut them in the name of Jesus. We shut them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus, my say, Heavenly Father, from now, from from now to the end of 2023 and beyond, any evil day. The enemy has planned to open the gates of death, the shadows of death. Oh Lord, the doors of the shadows of death. We shut them by the blood of Jesus. We shut the gates of death. We shut them by the blood. We shut them by the blood. We shut them by the blood. We shut them by the blood, we shut them by the blood of Jesus. In the gates of death, in the doors of the shadow of death, we shut them by the blood. 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 In Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Say Heavenly Father. We shut in the gates of death. In the doors of the shadow of death. We shut them by the blood of Jesus. We shut them in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Now let's look at Proverbs chapter 14, verse 19. The evil will bow before the good amplify, and the wicked will bow down at the gates of the righteous. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Say that the wicked, Let the wicked bow, bow at my gates, at my gates of, the of the righteous, at the gates, at the gates of my family. Of my family. Let, the wicked, Let the wicked, that, are, that is on assignment, that is assignment. Bow, bow at the gates at of the righteous, righteous. Right, now. Right, now. right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now. Right now. Right now, let the wicked bow at the gates of the righteous. Let the wicked bow at the gates of the righteous. Let the wicked bow before the good. 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 The wicked will bow at the gates of the righteous. They will bow at the gates of the righteous. In Jesus' name, say Heavenly Father. Say Heavenly Father. In this new year, evil cannot overcome good. As long as, as, long as light, light, darkness, darkness cannot, cannot overcome, overcome light. light, no way, no way. Physically, physically, in the rest of the spirit, we decree and declare every evil, evil who bow, bow before the good, before the righteous, by the blood of Jesus, we declare and declare no evil shall, shall stand before the good in the name of Jesus. Any satanic assignment, let it bow at the gates of the righteous. Of the righteous right now. Lift up the body and pray. The evil will bow at the gates of the righteous. The evil will bow at the gates of the righteous. The evil will bow at the gates of the righteous. The evil will bow at the gates of the righteous. The evil will bow at the gates of the righteous. The evil will bow at the gates of the righteous. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Say the evil will bow. The evil will bow at my gates. In the name of Jesus. Evil of sickness. Evil, evil of sickness. Evil sickness. Every sickness is evil. But say, Heavenly Father, Father any evil, evil in, in, in a form of sickness, in a, in a form of death, marriage breakup, confusion, disappointment, terror, we declare and declare. They will bow. They will bow. They will bow. They will bow. Let them bow the gates of the righteous. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 
Oh, hallelujah. Psalm 32, 8, verse 12 says that those also who seek my who seek my life lay snares for me. In this new year, anybody that seeks your life, they shall drink their own blood Amen. and eat their own bodies. Amen. Say heavenly father. heavenly father. Anyone, Anyone. any group of persons Anyone. who seek my life, who seek the life of the archbishop, Nicholas Dakar Williams, he's offered the children. Let them drink their own blood, eat their own flesh in the name of Jesus. Anyone that seeks our lives on this watch, in this new year, every day of the new year, we decree and declare, let them drink Drink their own blood, eat their own bodies. Lift up your voice and say, We declare and declare the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. Let them drink their own blood, eat their own bodies. Drink their own blood, eat their own bodies. Drink their own blood, eat their own bodies. Drink their own blood, eat their own flesh. Drink their own blood. In your own flesh, in Jesus' much name, say, Heavenly Father, I declare, I declare, those also who seek my life, less, less for me, who seek my head, who, who speak my head, who seek my head, speak of destruction, oh Lord, they plan deception all day, I declare, and declare, let them fall. In their own plans, let them fall. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Say let them fall. Oh, say let them fall. Let them fall. Let them fall. Hallelujah. Esther chapter 2, verse 21 to 23. And the Bible says, In those days, while Mordecai sat within the king's gate, in this new year, on this watch, you want to declare that you will always be at the king's gate. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. You are the king of your, of your domain. Or you are the queen of your domain. And you have to always make sure that you are sitting at your gate spiritually. You have to be spiritually alert. Say, Heavenly Father, on this watch, I declare and declare, just like Mordecai, I'll always sit at the gates in the rest of the spirit by prayer. By prayer. By prayer. Little you sit at the gate by prayer. You sit at the gate by prayer. You sit at the gate by prayer. You sit at the gate. You sit at the gate. Jesus, yes, my name. friend, remember, it's a year of the open doors. And whoever sits at your gate, determine what comes in, what goes out. Determine what can come in, what can go out. So it's very, very important that you and I, we sit at the gates. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. But the guy knew what he, what, what he, I mean, he knew, he knew his assignment. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father. I know my assignment. I'll know, know, know my assignment. By the blood of, by, by the blood of by Jesus. Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'll know, I'll know my assignment in the name of Jesus. I'll know my assignment in the name of Jesus. On this watch, I declare and declare. I declare and declare. I declare and declare. I'll be sensitive. I'll be alert spiritually and sit at the gates. Lift up your voice and pray that you sit at the gates in the name of Jesus. We shall sit at the gates. 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 In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Two of the king's eunuchs. Big Tan and Teresh, doorkeepers, became furious and sought to lay hands on King Ahasuerus. How can gatekeepers decide to, I mean, do a coup against the king? Is demonic inspired? Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Any demonic inspiration? Any demonic inspiration? Any demonic stir up? Demonic stir up in, my in my home? In my organization? My organization. Oh, Lord. oh Lord, we kill it. We kill it, we kill it. by the blood of Jesus. Lift up your voice. Any demonic inspiration? Any demonic stir up? We cast it in the name of Jesus. 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 Any demonic stirrups? Any rebellion of the enemy? In that church, we cast it, we cast it, 
we oppress it in Jesus' matter. Say, Heavenly Father, any group of person the enemy has hired to bring confusion in that church of Jesus Christ, let them be exposed. Let them be exposed. Let a rebellion be killed and be scattered by the blood of Jesus. Lift up your voice. Let the rebellion be killed and be scattered. 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 In Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says that so the matter became known to Mordecai, who told Queen Esther. And Esther informed the king in Mordecai's name. And when an inquiry was made into the matter, it was confirmed, and both were hanged on gallows. And it was written in the book of the Chronicles in the presence of the king. Hallelujah. It is, it is interesting to know that when you go to chapter 3, verse 1, the king rather honored somebody else, Haman, on this watch. Any door that God has opened for you, and Satan wants to hijack it, because on this watch, Haman will use manipulation and incantations to 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 what uh, to to hijack the 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 the, the blessing that should come to him uh, to Mordecai. Say, Heavenly Father, any satanic agenda in the womb of time to hijack my open doors, open opportunities on this watch. We overturn it, we crush it, we kiss it by the blood of Jesus. 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 We kiss it. We kiss it. We kiss it. We kiss it. We curse it. We curse it. Nobody tell us to us. We curse it. We curse it. We curse it. In Jesus, say, Heavenly Father, any destiny switch, any destiny switch by the enemy concerning my life, I overturn it. I get the upper hand. I get the upper hand. I get the upper hand by the blood of Jesus. Lift up your voice and get the upper hand. We get the upper hand. We get the upper hand. By the blood of Jesus. We get the upper hand. 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 By the blood of Jesus. We get the upper hand. 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 By the blood of Jesus. We get the upper hand. 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 In Jesus' name. Say, Heavenly Father. Whatever the enemy has been able to take. That will belongs to me. I decree and declare. Let it be a restoration. Let it be a restoration. Let it be a restitution. Right, right now. Restoration. Restitution. Listen about restoration. Restitution. 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 By the blood of Jesus. Restoration. Restitution. In Jesus' master, say, Heavenly Father, I decree and declare every satanic agenda of all that, all that, have, that have stolen from me, my opportunities, my lost ground, I decree and declare my lost finances, I decree and declare on this watch, let there be a restoration. All the years, all the years of wastage, oh Lord, according to your word, Joel chapter 2. Verse 25. Oh Lord, let there be a restoration. 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 By the blood of Jesus, lift up a voice and pray. Restoration of restitution. Restoration of restitution. Restoration of restitution. Restoration of restitution. By the blood of Jesus. Restoration of restitution. Restoration of restitution. Restoration of restitution. Restoration of restitution. Right now. 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 Restoration of restitution. Restoration of restitution. Restoration of restitution. Restoration of restitution. 
Resurrection and Jesus. Right now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Say resurrection. Restitution. Right now. Hallelujah. God bless you for joining us to pray. It's time to sow. And the Bible says, Luke 6 38, that give and it shall be given back unto you. Good measure, press down, shake it together, running over. Like I always say, because of what God is doing on this network, you and I, we, know, we, can, we agree that it's a fertile field and it's a fertile ground for you to sow. Because God is on this platform. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Oh, God is on this platform. And you attest to it. The, my, the major testimonies that are coming. And your prayer that have been answered since you joined the one million strong. Hundred days of intensive prayer. Since you start following the Lord's servant, the Archbishop of the Cross that can win up, you can see a change in your life on this watch. So, look on the screen. So, and like I, I always say, you shall receive the four levels of God giving back to you. Amen. Good measure. Amen. Press down. Amen. Shake it together and run it over. You want to do it right now. Don't postpone it. Do it right now. Don't postpone it. Because you see, God wants to turn a session around. You may be saying you don't have. But listen, God knows. So the little you have, just sow. Whatever you have, just sow it. And see God come through for you. Amen. God will come through for you. Amen. Like I told you, there are countless testimonies. Somebody that, that I know. I mean, last year during the one million strong, 100 days of death for prayer challenge. In February this year, this person... You know, a, a huge amount of money was written off. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen, join. Sow a seed and your life will never be the same again. God is faithful. This is a fatal fail. And I want to encourage you to sow and you shall begin to receive what? The four levels of the blessings of the Lord when you sow. Hallelujah. Amen. It's important. You shall have good measure. Press down. Shake it together and run it over. That will be your portion. God bless you for obeying. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, you want to share your testimonies. As you can see, take a picture of yourself and speak on the phone and send the testimony across as you see the number on the screen and let people know what God is doing in your life. Church, it's important for you to know that God that is doing magic in the lives of his children. So let the world know. And let it be a form of a prayer, a form of a testimony. Let somebody be encouraged by your, by your testimony. Hallelujah. It's a, it's a high time you stop being silent and speak out. Speak out. And the Lord will bless you as you speak out your testimony. Your, 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 your healing will be complete. As you speak out your testimony, your, your, your miracle will be complete in the name of Jesus. Maybe you are saying that it's not completed. But speak it so that what? You put, a, as, you, as you speak it, what are you doing? You are putting God under pressure to answer. God is, will answer. He's so faithful. Concerning so he said, the Bible says that he overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony, and did not love their lives even unto death. So, as you speak the word of God, as you speak the testimonies, others will be blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord bless you for being. Amen. Amen. Now, impact is with us. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The year of the open doors. Reset the year of the open door. And it has started. If you have not joined, please join. If you want to travel, please do. Listen, mighty miracles have started already. Mighty breakthrough. A lot of mantles have been, have been released on, the, on people. And you can't afford to miss it. Impact has started. Hallelujah. And the Lord bless you for tuning in. Hallelujah. Now, before we, 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 we bring down the curtains, let's look at the scripture, Esther chapter 6, verse 13. The Bible says that when Haman told his wife, Zeresh, and all his friends, everything that had happened to him, his wise men and his wife, Zerah said to him, If Mordecai, before whom you have begun to fall, is of Jewish descent, you will not prevail against him, but you will surely fall before him. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father on this watch, I declare and declare, in the new year, as a son, as a daughter of, of, of the King of Kings, purchased by the blood of Jesus, as the redeemer of the Lord, I declare, I declare, my enemies shall fall, shall fall, they shall fall. Lift up your body, your enemies shall fall. Your enemies shall fall. They shall fall. They shall fall. They shall fall. 
Deixa fogo, 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 this broadcast, if you have not given your life to Christ, say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father on this word, I realize I don't have Jesus as my Lord, the personal Savior. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, come and live in me. Forgive me every bit of sin I ever committed. Write my name in the Lamb of life in the name of Jesus. Wash me with your precious blood. Make me clean. Make me whole. It's not my, my, my righteousness. It's not my good deeds. But by the grace of God, the blood of Jesus. Friend, as you made this confession, you are born again. Please, look on the screen. There are people waiting to speak to you and to help you. The Lord bless you for doing it. Hallelujah. Just keep sharing. Keep sharing the testimonies. Keep sharing the testimonies. And sign, don't, don't if I'm not signed, sign up. Remember, others are coming with powerful men and women in prayer. One million strong. Don't, 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 don't let anything stop you from joining. The Lord bless you. The Lord cause face to shine upon you. Amen. And keep praying. We'll see you soon. Amen. Amen. Spring people are very dangerous people. Even when they are weak, be careful. Jesus said in Luke 18, men ought to always, say always. always. Not every now and then, oh, but what? Always to pray and not to. And one thing you must do, whether you are loaded or broke, never stop praying. Because God is always counting on your prayers to carry out his will on earth. Always. He's counting on your prayers. And I'm telling you, praying people, they never go wrong. I'm telling you. I'm yet to see one praying person. I'm telling you. Who missed it? Even when they fall, they rise. Amen. All right. So I just want to congratulate you and thank you for being an intercessor. One of the greatest teachers of all time, Charles Pergin, he said something. He said something very powerful. He said, I will rather train one person to pray than to teach 10 people to preach. It means that everybody can teach. But not everybody can pray. Ah. Come on somebody. Put your hands together. If you're a praying person. Where is Ife? Go with me quickly. Look at. I want to show you two things. And then I want us to pray quickly. Uh, Isaiah chapter 10. 1 and 2. Isaiah 10. 1 and 2. Micah 2. 1 to 3. Look at something. Welcome to them that decree a righteous decree. So there are people, you know, when I was a non-believer, eh, we used to go places and we would get people to write people's name and to write what we want. Sometimes even the name of girls you want and they don't want to, you write their names. And they do some things and the girl will like you. Hey Charlie, there are things though. This is serious, serious, serious stuff, Amen. But there are people who make that. They, you go to them and they will, they will write what you want and it becomes a decree and a law. Then they will let you bury it, take it to places, do all kinds of things with people's name. Today we are declaring anyone that has taken our name anywhere or the name of our children anywhere and has written anything by any means, whatever they used to write, Whatever the pen is, whether it's white or black or red, whatever they have written as a decree in the spirit against you.
and your children and your business and your loved one today by the blood of Jesus we abolish that decree say abolish say whatever they have buried against us we uproot and whatever they have released we intercept do you see sometimes when they send missiles to Israel and then Israel will intercept it uh -huh. that is what prayer does any missile any arrow they have released between now and 31st December and beyond to cause pain or grief or shame or disappointment in the name of Jesus reproach disgrace scandal say in the name of Jesus we intercept put your hands and say intercept in the name of Jesus amen finish it quickly finish it and that right grievousness uh -huh. which they have prescribed they will prescribe you know when you go to a doctor eh, they prescribe medicine okay in the spirit world they prescribe things there are families where there is a particular prescription in that family of a particular sickness there are families where people do well they go to school they make money but they can never marry or they marry they can never have children or they have children and the marriage must break i mean i've seen too many interesting things i was dealing with a situation when i live in america of a particular family where when the daughters of that family when they marry they can't have children but they can have children when they are dating without marriage you know what i said yeah when they are not married they can have children by sleeping with men they will have children but as soon as they marry they will do everything they can have children it's a prescription certain families there are certain kind of sickness and diseases in that family and you see everybody from grandmother grandfather everybody has that sickness today we decree divine exemptions say divine exemptions say by the blood of the covenant we intercept and override and we abolish demonic prescriptions which they have prescribed for me and my family and my bloodline on the ground of any covenant technicality legality or an evil altar in my bloodline paterna and materna in the name of jesus by the blood of that covenant say i am known every technicality legality legal grounds occasion advantage every covenant demonic altar and the curse of that altar and of that covenant today by the blood of the covenant i am all i know i know put your hands together i know in the name of jesus now lift your hand say now i command now i command divine, divine exemptions and divine, and divine escapes, escapes from the consequence, from the consequence of, the of the covenants of the evil altar, the evil altar. I, connect I connect to this god altar to this holy altar and by the connection to this altar i am known override every other altar in my father's house my mother's house and in the name of jesus i am known any demonic prescription which they have prescribed to determine the outcome of my life and my circumstances to disadvantage me to hijack my inheritance my possession to divert my blessing and to give my honor to another say 
in the name of Jesus, I am all override and overturn. Put your hands together. In the name of Jesus, give me Micah, Micah chapter 2, from 1 to 3. I'm giving you ammunition. When you get to fire, are you hearing me? Don't just read it. Hear me? Reading the Bible doesn't give you an advantage, it gives you knowledge. It is when you enforce, proclaim with your mouth, say, Faith. The word of God is released by my mouth. It's when you declare with your mouth, then God is under obligation to do it. Not when you read it. Not when you put it under your pillow. Go ahead. You see another war? If you go to if you go to Isaiah 10 1, it's the same thing. He said what? Woe to them. Here too, he said what? Woe to them. So there are them. Say them. All the them do is to plot evil devices against innocent people. Them. Whoever the them are. In the name of the let curse be upon them. Let the curse of God come upon them. Let the them be a curse. And let them disappear from the face of the earth. In the name of Jesus. Them that devise our head. Them that devise mischiefs. Them that devise conspiracy to our head and demise. Let them disappear from the face of the earth. Put your hands together and declare them. 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 In the name of Jesus. Finish it. Woe to them that devise iniquity. Iniquity. Wickedness. And walk evil upon their beds. Uh -huh. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Whatever power the them are using, Jesus. whatever power it is, Jesus. let them lose that power. Lose that power. Whether the them are in your father's house, your mother's house, hey. at the marketplace, politically, spiritually, whoever they are, whatever power they are using, Jesus. let them lose the power. Lose Put your hands up, command them to lose it. We cut the power of your hand. Cut it off in the name of Jesus. Cut it off your hand. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Finish. Finish. Because it is in the power of your hand. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And they convert fields. They what? Convert fields. Say an evil eye. An evil eye. Tell somebody, somebody has his eye. On your field, on your field. Yeah. And I'll they convert fields. Fields. And take them by violence. Take them by violence. And houses. And houses. And take them away. Do you know somebody has his eyes on your house? Ah. Somebody is driving, looking at your house. Hey, so who's that? That must be an When we block that eye, pierce that eye in the name of Jesus. Anyone who has imagined something. Eh? Once, how many of you are married? Give me a wave of it. How many of you are married? Okay. How many of you are not married? Some of you, you know why you are not married? I'll show you. Somebody, somebody has tied your husband up. Somebody has tied your wife up. Next week, eh? Next week, one of the prayers we are going to pray. We are going to pray to lose your husband. Lose your wife. Lose your field. Lose your houses. Lose your lambs. Anyone that has tied and bind your destiny, your future, your children, will lose them. Say loose. Next week, eh, I want you to bring two requests, not more than two, just two requests of what you want God to do between now and 31st December. Two requests. Just two. Bring it places on this altar. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Yeah. We will pray at midnight before you come and pour oil on the altar. Come and put your request here. 
let every unanswered prayer be answered but let me finish this let me finish there's something i have to do quickly come with me to first Kings chapter 20 verse 1 to 6 quickly and then i want to end it there look at something uh-huh and ben hada the king of syria ben hada that spirit that spirit of ben hada is still working on spirits don't die go ahead and ben hada the king of syria mm-hmm. gathered all his hosts together mm-hmm. and there were 30 and two kings with him uh-huh. and horses and chariots and he went up and somebody said we scattered demonic cartels say we scatter demonic reinforcement home and abroad domestic and external within and without say we break their ranks put your hands together break their ranks scatter them we scatter their ranks we break their ranks in the name of Jesus whoever they are whatever they scatter we scatter their ranks in the name of Jesus go ahead and there were 30 and two kings with him uh-huh. and horses uh-huh. and chariots yes, sir. and he went up and uh-huh. besieged Samaria uh-huh. and warred against it say every demonic besiegement every demonic besiegement we break through it so we break through the defenses of the enemy around us and our goods and our children and our loved ones and our nation so we bring down demonic satanic defenses break it now in the name of your put your break put your gonna break it break in the name of Jesus. go ahead tomorrow evening we are fasting and we are praying remember every friday we fast and pray these short short prayers they don't last though we need time to bow and to the bible says when my heart is overwhelmed i will cry out from the ends of the earth lead me to a rock that is higher than... you know you know in this kingdom eh, everything that lasts is through travail if you don't travel like a woman goes to the hospital and to the labor to travel you don't bring forth anything so there are people with dreams desires expectations great visions it's not happening you know why because they haven't traveled and travel is a deep place of prayer well mm, give me traveling mothers here mothers who have had babies before ask them they'll tell you Sometimes when I see women go and have babies and they come back and they want to go again, I look at them and say, now, Eddie, it's okay. But um, because when you have been to the labor world several times, I didn't like to be there. Sometimes the, my spiritual daughters will insist, I want my father there. Then the husband will come in. Papa, your daughter wants you. I say, want me here for what? Is you do, did it. Carry your thing. Pray. I'll teach you. And they, they, they say, no, no, Papa. He said, he want you here. And I go there and I'm praying and I'm looking another direction i'm praying father in the name of jesus and you you can hear them mm, ah, ah, oh. you want breakthrough you have to get to a place of prayer where you can ah. are you hearing me this kind of prayers you are praying is too comfortable you are not feeling anything that's why you pray like you are romancing god uh-huh. When you are in pain, you pray proper prayer. Go ahead, look at it. Mm-hmm. And he sent messengers to Ahab, uh-huh. king of Israel, uh-huh. into the city. Listen. And said unto him, uh-huh. Thus said Ben Hadad, uh-huh. Whatever the enemy have said, whatever they have declared in secret, in private, or in public, where we are concerned and our children and possession and loved one are concerned in the name of the lord jesus let their words lose potency let their words in the name of jesus lose the power and the ability to work we take away the potency of their words command their words to backfire in the name of jesus 
say let their words and pronouncement backfire, 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 backfire in the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Thy silver and thy gold is mine. Here, here. He said what? Thy silver and thy gold. Somebody is has interest in your silver and your gold. That's why some of you, you don't have silver and you don't have gold because somebody has established interest in your silver and interest in your gold. So there is an ongoing contention over your gold and your silver. That's why you don't have it. You should have had it by now. But somebody has established interest in what is yours. It's like you go and buy a land. In Ghana, you buy a land. I bought land. You buy a land, you have your documents and somebody else has established an interest in your land. So there's a contention. You have the money to build. You can't build because someone else has interest in it. Anyone who has interest in our silver and in our gold, whoever they are, wherever they are, we command them to disappear. Put your hands together. Command them. Disappear. 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 In the name of Jesus. Disappear. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Thy silver and thy gold is mine. Thy wives also and thy children. Uh -huh. hey. Hey. hey! You know, a young man married in this church. I know him. The, from the honeymoon night, every night when he sleeps, somebody will come and beat him. The person will beat him. He wakes up in the morning with marks on his body and tired, always being beaten. So when they told me, I said, ask the mother of the girl under which circumstances was she pregnant and it was established that she never got pregnant so they went to a river god in their village and did some things and she got pregnant and named the child after the river god and had to perform certain rituals and she stopped it so when they married the river god came for a claim and said this one is mine is my wife and you you don't respect so the thing came and we we'll beat him all the time he left the girl and nobody is beating him so it's not everybody you marry you. Uh -huh. just because they are born again don't mean you should marry them uh -huh. There are some families you go there, they will beat you every night. So, you know why some people are not marrying? Because somebody, a spirit, have established interest in that man and in that woman. So even if you marry them and you are not spiritually strong, they will cause them to misbehave and show you cayenne pepper. And you will say, what is wrong with this man? What is wrong with this woman? And it will never change until you break that curse or yoke or when that marriage is no more then the person suddenly will become a very nice person why somebody has established interest somebody wants your wife and your husband and wants your children go ahead thy wives also and thy children uh -huh. even the goodliest are mine he said anything that is good in your eyes I put a claim on it. That's why some of you, you don't have good things. Because every good thing that belongs to you, somebody has established interest. And as long as there is interest by somebody in it, you can't have it. You can go, your father can leave you a will. If somebody establishes a claim and he goes to court, you don't have access to it until the case is settled. Today, till the end of this year, let all disputes and contentions over your silver, your gold, your husband, your wives, your children, your health, your goods, let it be settled by the blood of Jesus. Put your hands together and say, Settle. In the name of Jesus. 
finish, finish quickly. My and time is up. The king of Israel answered and said, uh -huh. My Lord, O king, uh -huh. according to thy saying, I am dying. Listen, all that I have. when it comes to the demands of the enemy, you have to fight. Oh. Tell somebody, fight back. Don't give in. Tell somebody, don't give in. Don't give in. Fight, back. fight back. And I'll tell you why you must fight. Because if you don't fight, he will come for more. Yes. Look at it. Go ahead. Go ahead. And the messengers came again and said, They what? Came again. They what? Came again. Tell somebody, if you give in, if you give in he will come again. He will come again. Some of you are looking at me with some eye. And tell the devil that me, me, I don't like fight to me. It's not me. It's Papa that is pushing me to say all these things. I didn't say it. It's not me. Tell somebody, you better fight back. Better fight back. You are looking at me. You dare look at me. If you don't fight back, he will what? He will what? He will come for more. Listen. Right. And the messengers came again and said, uh -huh. God speaketh Ben Hadad, uh -huh. saying, uh -huh. Although I have sent unto the although, although I came first. I'm coming again. Why? Right, listen. Although I have sent unto thee, saying, mm -hmm. Thou shalt deliver me thy silver, uh -huh. and thy gold, uh -huh. and thy children, uh -huh. and thy wives. Uh -huh. Yet, I will send my servants unto thee uh -huh. tomorrow, uh -huh. about this time. Uh -huh. And they shall search thine house, uh -huh. and the houses of thy servants. Uh -huh. And it shall be, that whatsoever is pleasant in thine eyes, uh -huh. shall they put they shall put it in their hand and take it away. Uh -huh. Are you hearing me? Stop there. Today, we release our gold, in the name of Jesus. our silver, in the name of Jesus. wives and husbands, in the name of Jesus. sons and daughters, in the name of Jesus. lands and goods, in the name of Jesus. properties and possessions, honor and good health, in the name of Jesus. favor and glory in the name of Jesus. that has been tied up, yes, held up, by another, by another we, command we command the release, the release of our gold, of our, gold our, silver, our silver, our sons, our, sons, our, our marriage, our, daughters, our daughters, our breakthroughs, our honor and glory, our health and power. power. Release it in the name of Jesus. Put your hands together. Release it. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, lift up your right hand. Say, oh my enemy, oh my enemy, by the blood of the covenant, by the blood of the covenant, I decree and declare, I decree and declare, make no mistake, make no mistake, I will not die prematurely, I will not die prematurely, me and my house, me and my, house. Me and my seed, me and my seed, and this altar, and this altar. Will not be victims will not be victim or, casualty or casualty of any evil work, of any, evil work, of, any of any manipulation, of any weapon, of any weapon or, programming of yours. or programming of yours. We will not be victims. Will not be victim. I will not die prematurely. Will not die prematurely. I, will not die I will not die by land, by, land, by, air, by air, by water, by water or, in or in my sleep, by food, by, food, by drink. By drink by water, by water or by any circumstance, by circumstance. I, will I will not die premature, premature. I, declare, I declare I will outlive, I will outlive. all my adversaries I will outlive, I will outlive. Everyone, everyone that wishes me ill I, I will outlive them declare it in the name of Jesus them. I will outlive them in the name of Jesus all them that wishes me ill we declare in the name of Jesus in the name of now lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. Thank you, Lord. Give me Proverbs 16 and 5. 16 and 6. Proverbs 16 and 6. Uh-huh. By mercy and truth, uh -huh. iniquity is purged. Yes. And by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. No, no, no. Psalm 16. Psalm 16 verse 6. Here. Sorry. 16 verse 6. That's it. The lines are falling unto me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. Now lift up both of your hands. When 
I'm going to speak some things. And when I say in the name of Jesus, you scream amen like a believer. Amen. I command, let the lines of blessings fall for you in pleasant places. Now, wait till I say in the name of Jesus. Because nothing happened. You see, the name of Jesus is the seal. The name of Jesus is the signature. When they put Jesus in the tomb, they put the seal eh, of the emperor of Rome on it. And you break the seal before you can access. The name of Jesus is the seal. Lift up your hands. As you live here, between now and next week, and the end of this year, I command, let the lines of blessings fall for you in pleasant places in the name of Jesus I command the lines of long life the lines of longevity to fall for you in pleasant places in the name of Jesus I command the lines of favor to fall for you on every side in the name of Jesus I command the lines of supernatural provision to fall for you on pleasant places from today to the end of the year and beyond in the name of Jesus I command the lines of spiritual, financial, and political exaltations to fall for you in pleasant places from now to the end of the year and beyond. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I command the lines of goodwill to fall for you in pleasant places from now to the end of the year and beyond in the name of Jesus Amen. let the lines of divine turnarounds fall for you and all that concerns you from now to the end of the year and beyond in the name of Jesus Amen. let the lines of good health good health good health fall for you and all that concerns you from now to the end of the year and beyond in the name of Jesus let the lines of divine escapes escapes fall for you and all that concerns you between now and the end of this year and beyond in the name of Jesus Amen. let the lines of promotion divine elevations fall for you and all that concerns you in pleasant places between now and the end of this year and beyond in the name of Jesus Amen. now let the lines of honor and riches and prosperity and wisdom and strength and glory and honor fall for you and all that concerns you in pleasant places from now to the end of the year and beyond in the name of Jesus Amen. now as we close, as we close, let those who hate you see your exaltation and be ashamed. I declare that all those who hate you between now and the end of this year, they will see the goodness of God in your life. And they shall be greatly ashamed. I declare 
the Lord will show you a sign for good and everyone that hates you everyone that does not like you for whatever reason they will see God prepare you a table in the presence of your enemies and will anoint your head with oil and his goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life anyone that hates you anyone who doesn't like you politically financially spiritually economically at the home front domestic and external home and abroad within and without let them be greatly ashamed let them be put to shame put your hands as i command them to be put to shame in the name of jesus amen amen now give me give me jeremiah 20 11. let's see what is there is it that 20 11 or 11 20 quickly uh, let me see but the lord is with me that's it but the lord is with me everybody one two go but the lord is with me as a mighty terrible one therefore my persecutors shall stumble they shall not prevail they shall be greatly ashamed for their everlasting confusion the everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten one more time no 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 here that is low energy tell somebody it's low energy give me high energy are you ready want to go back the lord is with me as a mighty terrible one therefore my persecutors shall stumble and they shall not prevail they shall be greatly ashamed but they shall not prosper their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten do you believe it yes. scream yes. On behalf of His Eminence, Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, our Papa, it's a delight to welcome you to the 100 Days of Prayer. In fact, the Archbishop has declared the season the season of open doors in line with the Jewish festive season where doors have been opened. But he also says that though doors can be opened, you may not have the strength to go through. During this prayer session, we are going to pray for deliverances and for strength and miracles to go through. We are praying on deliverances and miracles. Deliverances where the Lord will deliver you and grant you strength. A miracle that will cause you to enter into your open door. That you will never stand behind your door, but you will really enter and enjoy. The door has been opened. It is yours for the taking. His eminence has declared this, has decreed it, and he wants you to know he is committed to your success. He wants you to know that he's with you, he's praying with you, he and his team, his bishops and the whole team. We are backing you together in this hundred days of glory, this hundred days of the supernatural. We are entering to the prayer sector, entering to the prayer room, entering to the prayer closet, and we are going to enjoy manifestations of glory, manifestations of favor, manifestations of deliverances, and manifestations of breakthroughs and miracles. Brethren, call on loved ones family and friends uh, share the link let them join us together to pray because it is time to pray it is time for prayer this is the prayer time to enter into your new season your new era your new dawn uh, because miracles are happening uh, the supernatural is open uh, waiting for you uh, waiting for you to enter in the name of jesus uh, before we continue if you don't know jesus as your lord and personal savior we want to lead you. It's a simple prayer. What you have to be mindful of is believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that the Lord Jesus came to die for your sin, paid the price for sin, and was resurrected by the glory of the Father for your salvation. If you believe that he came in the flesh and was raised by the Father for you, you shall be saved. By that prayer, you are born again. Let's now move into prayer. As you've now shared the link, we are now moving to prayer. In in this time of open doors, let us prepare our hearts 
align our lives with God's purposes in this year of open door. We are going to pray through and enforce as we walk in faith, knowing that God's favor is before us. His presence will guide us. His Holy Spirit will help us to enjoy victory. During this time of deliverance and miracles, we are praying, oh God, we pray for deliverance in the name of Jesus. Let every bondage and addiction be broken. Let every oppression be broken. Let the manifestation of miracles be unleashed. Let the manifestation of the miracles power be released now as we enter into prayer we set captives free we set captives free we break chains anything that binds at any shackles according to second kings 9 verses 2 we pray for escapes the open door can also stand for escape according to scripture the king was told that once he has been anointed the prophet that anointed him an open door was made available in this time of prayer Prayer. There's an open door for escape. No matter where you find yourself, if you find yourself in difficulty, financial difficulty, marital difficulty, spiritual difficulty, even confronting death. If you're on the sick bed, I want you to know 2 Kings 9 2, there is a way of escape. And we come to your home in the name of Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus. His Eminence wants you to know there is a way of escape. What you have to do is believe and pray. Say after me in the mighty name of Jesus. I locate my way of escape. Way of escape from premature death. Way of escape from sickness. Way of escape from any marital challenge. Way of escape from addiction. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, oh God, that we believe in the power of the Holy Ghost. The power that performs signs and wonders. And indeed, we shall see signs and wonders. After me, I shall see the signs. I shall see the wonders of the Most High God. I receive breakthroughs. Uh, I receive transformations. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray. Psalm 46 verses 8 to 9. And I read. Come behold the works of the Lord. Uh, we are imitating Christ. Uh, to do the works of the Lord. Uh, as we move into prayer. The Bible says come and see the works of the Lord. Uh, and the Bible goes further. Who has made desolations. Uh, in the earth. We make desolations of every work of the enemy. Anything that want to stop our deliverance. Uh, anything that want to block our miracle. Uh, anything that want to block our breakthrough. Uh, we make it a desolation in the name of Jesus by the works of God, by the finger of God, which is by the Holy Ghost. We make the oppressions of the enemy a desolation, a desolation, a desolation in the name of Jesus. No matter where you are on earth, whether you are in Africa, whether you are in the Americas, whether you are in Asia, whether you are in Europe, whether you are in Antarctica, we decree in the name of Jesus, in the place of prayer, we put on Christ, we sit upon the seat of Christ, and we issue a desolation to every work of the enemy, to every oppression of the enemy. We decree it a desolation. And the Bible says, this same God is able to make wars to cease. Let any evil war we decree from the place of prayer as we put on our head the Lord Jesus Christ, empowered by the Holy Ghost. We decree let war cease. Let family war cease. Let wars in your body cease. Let wars in the realm against you Caesar in the name of Jesus it is possible wars can Caesar he pray we pray in the name of Jesus let war Caesar whatever war we not in line with the will of God let that war Caesar let that war Caesar let that war Caesar in the mighty name of Jesus Say after me, any war I'm engaging, uh, not in my favor, let the war cease uh, in the name of Jesus. And the Bible goes on, um, verses 9. 9b to tell us how he made the war to Caesar. Today we are engaging the word of God. We are engaging scripture, the sword of the spirit, and we are going to speak forth, declare forth. We are going to enforce scriptures into our life. The Bible says he makes war to cease by breaking bows and cutting the spear into two. 
and burning chariots. We are picking the first one. Any bow of the enemy, any bow of the wicked, any bow of the sorcerer, which is their power base, that which makes them conquer, that which supports them, their base, oh Lord, according to scripture, the Lord causes war to cease by breaking bows, just as a bullet without a gun is useless, likewise an arrow without a bow is useless. We are breaking bows, we are breaking bows, we are breaking bows in the name of Jesus. Let the weapons of the enemy be destroyed, let their spear be broken, let their chariots catch fire. Anything they operate from, let it catch fire. We are enforcing deliverances, we are enforcing miracles in the name of Jesus. Rabbi, we will cause every evil war in your members to cease by breaking bows. According to Psalm 18, verse 34, the Bible says, The Lord teaches my hands to war. In the time of war, we are going to war in the name of Jesus. We are praying in the name of Jesus. It is a kind of a war, and we are warring to destroy the rest of the Lord. We stand in the victory of the Lord Jesus, and we have fought this war of faith, and we break bows. We destroy the name of Jesus. Psalm 18, verse 34. He teaches my hands to war. By what? Breaking the bow of bronze. Wars are won when the enemy's bows are broken. We break the bows. We break the bases of any wicked warrior. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord will teach us to win the war by breaking bow. Any bow engaged against your life. Any bow engaged against his eminence. Any bow against the church. We break it in the name of Jesus. As the the law caused the solution by breaking bows as he taught us his children to also win the war by breaking bows. We break bows, we break bows, we break bows. Any bow responsible for that arrow that shot your health life, any bow responsible for that arrow that shot your financial life, we break it, we break it, we break it in the name of Jesus. Revelation chapter 6, verses 1 and 2. And I looked and behold, a white horse. He who sat on it had the bow. Bread in the bow has come again. And a crown was given him. And he went out conquering and to conquer. Bread in another meal of the bow is the power to conquer. Unless the lamb had broken. If the lamb of God, our Lord Jesus Christ, hadn't broken the seal, we would have seen behind the seal what was happening the enemy was operating the bow we are therefore praying any power to conquer any spirit that has been assigned to conquer ah, to prevent us from entering our open doors we come in the name of Jesus we break their bow we break their bow we break their bow they shall not they shall not stop us they will not conquer us you will not die you will not be conquered the spirit of sickness will not conquer you Cancer will not conquer you. Any wickedness will not conquer you. Any arrow from hell will not conquer you. Any bow they are flying. Any bow they are firing. We break it. We break it. We break it in the name of Jesus. We pray. According to Psalm 37 verse 14. Psalm 37 verse 14. The wicked have drawn the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and the needy. The evil ones are drawing their swords and they are bending their bows to bring the needy and the poor down. We decree in the place of prayer. Today is your deliverance. You are not going out. You are not going down. Not in our name, but in the name of the Lord Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, we decree you will not be cast down. The wicked expectation will never happen. Not so, not so. It shall never happen. In the name of Jesus, their bent bows will break. Any intention, any agenda to cast down the wicked, to cast down sorry, the poor, we break it to cast down the needy. We break it. Anything to slay those who have upright heart. Any agenda of wickedness to destroy the upright. We break the agenda we break their bow, supporting the agenda in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, Psalm 37 verse 15. 
their soul shall enter into their own hearts. Uh, let their soul release, uh, enter into their own hearts, uh, and their bones shall be broken. Uh, we break their bones after me. We break their bones. We break their bones. We break their bones. Uh, they cannot perform uh, their evil enterprise in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, with this understanding of their bones, uh, we see the other day, Razanto Shiki Baba, when Saul was killed, uh, this Jonathan and Saul was killed. Uh, and David went to the scene. Uh, Second Samuel chapter 1, verse 17 going. Uh, he made declaration. When he saw Saul uh, dead, he made declaration. He said that how did the mighty fall? Uh, we decree the name of Jesus uh, as one in Christ. Uh, you are the mighty one in Christ. Uh, you will not fall. Uh, and he did the root cause analysis. Uh, how did Saul die as if he wasn't anointed? Uh, how come uh, believers are going down uh, as if they don't do hell in Christ? Uh, Christ the anointed one uh, and he made declaration uh, in second Samuel 1 verses 18 uh, that he told them to teach the children uh, of Judah about the bow the song of the bow as I take a we cannot be ignorant of the bow of the wicked uh, how have the mighty fallen uh, David said, teach them about the bow. Verse 22, from the blood of the slain, from the foot of the mighty, the bow of Jonathan did not turn back. Grazedia, Reba to Sukobaya, we decree in the name of Jesus, evil bows will be turned back. We break it in Jesus' name. He said, how come Jonathan fell? Because his bow didn't fall back. We pray in the name of Jesus. The bow of the wicked shall be turned back. In Jesus' name, we come in the name of the Lord. First Corinthians chapter 16, verses 8 to 9. And I read, but I will tarry in Ephesus until Pentecost. We come in the name of Jesus to break bows. We will tarry in this prayer hour. In this hundred days of opening doors. In this hundred days of prayer. We are tarrying, oh God, till the Holy Ghost come upon us uh, because we are breaking bows uh, not by our might uh, not by our strength uh, but in the mighty name of Jesus uh, by the spirit of God uh, till the Holy Ghost comes uh, until Pentecost uh, 1 Corinthians 16 8 and 9 uh, for a great and effective doors be open but there are many adversaries uh, any door of favor any door of glory any door of elevation, any door of peace, any door of blessing that the Lord has opened for you, as Papa declared from now going, he has declared an open door and any adversary who has seen the word, who has located the word and has positioned himself at the door, we receive empowerment from the Holy Ghost. We are tarrying this place of prayer until Pentecost, until the fire comes, until the fire comes. Say a me, I receive power. I receive power, power from the Holy Ghost. We are tiring to go through the open doors. We are tiring to undo burdens. We are tiring to crash through the troops. We are tiring to leap over walls. In the name of Jesus, any bow set against our open doors. Any resistance, uh, any blockade, uh, any adversary standing by open doors uh, as we tarry till the fire comes, uh, as we tarry to Pentecost, uh, we go against uh, every adversary since we are one with the Lord. Uh, First Corinthians 16, verse 17. Uh, every adversary of ours, uh, we declare them the adversary of the enemy, the adversary of the Lord. Uh, they shall be broken to pieces. Uh, First Samuel chapter 2, verse 10. Uh, every adversary of the enemy shall be broken uh, any adversary standing by open door let them be broken uh, as Paul said uh, a door has been opened uh, yet there are many adversaries uh, we break we break we break in the name of Jesus Psalm 34 verse 17 we are praying the scriptures. Uh, the righteous cry out. Uh, in this place of prayer, we cry out. Uh, and the Lord hears uh, and delivers them from all their trouble. My brother, my sister, you are coming out of every trouble. You are coming out from every pit. Uh, you are coming from any miry clay. In the mighty name of Jesus, anything called trouble for you. 
Anything defined as trouble in the place of prayer, we cry out uh, to the one who is able to save, uh, for he's able to save to the uttermost. Uh, and we decree uh, that sickness will not kill you. Uh, we decree uh, deliverance from accidents. Uh, we decree deliverance from diseases. Uh, we decree deliverance uh, from any financial mishap. Uh, we come against fraud. Uh, we come against you losing value. Uh, you will not be poor. Anything to take your value. Any Anything to draw your wealth, anything to shortchange you, we decree in the name of Jesus. We cry out in Lamb Psalm 34, verse 17, and we decree deliverances. We decree deliverances. We decree deliverances. Say after me, I decree in the mighty name of Jesus, deliverances in my house, in my home, in my marriage, in my business, in my body, in my future, in my now, within my spouse, within my children I decree deliverances in the name of Jesus Philippians chapter 1 verse 19 Paul said I know that this will turn out for my deliverance uh, through your prayer and the supply of the spirit uh, of Jesus Christ. Uh, we put on Christ. Uh, we come in the name of Jesus and we come uh, by the supply of the spirit of God. Uh, as we pray right now, uh, the Holy Ghost, uh, the spirit of the Lord Jesus uh, is coming to your location uh, because uh, every evil situation is being turned around. Uh, this will turn around. Uh, this will turn around. Uh, this will turn around. Uh, in fact, it's turn around it is turned around. Your deliverance has come. Your deliverance has come through prayer and the supply of the Spirit. May you never lack the supply of the Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray according to 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 4 and 5. The Bible says the bowls of the mighty have been broken. We pray, oh God, let the mighty wicked, let any necromancer, let any sorcerer and their bow, let wickedness and their bow. Let them be broken uh, and look at the results. Uh, according to 1 Samuel chapter 2 verses 4. When the bow of the wicked was broken, uh, ah, those who stumbled were now gathered with strength. Uh, we decree from the place of prayer in this time of deliverance the miraculous. Uh, we pray oh God, uh, hither to your stumbling ceases. Uh, you will not stumble in your finances. Uh, you will not stumble in your health. Uh, now power has come. Uh, now strength has come. Uh, be because the bow of the wicked has been broken, you will no longer stumble, you will no longer fall. Anything responsible for your falling, when you repent from alcohol, you go back. Let that bow be broken. When you repent from addiction, you go back. Let that bow be broken. That sickness empowered by a bow, according to scripture, the bow of the mighty is broken. You are now free. Receive strength, receive strength, receive strength in the mighty name of Jesus. And the Bible says uh, those who are full uh, are now begging uh, when the wickedness of the wicked uh, and their bowels were broken uh, because they took your meter. Uh, they are now begging uh, anyone who has taken your glory, anyone who has tampered with your blessing, uh, anyone who took it uh, by an evil bow we therefore pray an exchange, exchange, exchange. Uh, anyone who by wicked bowels uh, has taken your meter. Uh, the Bible says when their bow was broken, those who were Fine. Those who had sufficiency of wealth, they were not begging. That means they took the bread of the righteous. They took the bread of the innocent. We therefore pray as we break their bowl, let the wealth reverse. Let the wealth reverse. Take your blessing. Say, I take my blessing. As the bow of the might is broken, I take it. The Bible says, now the hungry has ceased to hunger. As this bow is broken, you will never hunger again. The cause for your hunger, that evil trap, that evil projection is broken. And the Bible says, the barren has now born seven. Any evil bow responsible for your fruitlessness. We break it and you shall bear. You shall bear more in the name of Jesus. Financial shall be fruitful. Any boat responsible for financial fruitlessness. We break it in the name of Jesus. The Bible says Job 20-24 He will flee iron or weapon. Any wicked one who flees uh, 
from thy weapons. Ah, the bow shall pierce him through. They shall not escape the bow. Ah, Zebadiah. Because the Bible says in Job 29 20, my bow is renewed. Say, let my bow be renewed. Your bow is in Christ. Your bow is in the word. Your bow is in the covenant. Bow stands for covenant. Zadiah. Bow stands for covenant. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, any covenant backing evil works, any covenant backing evil projection, any covenant, when God set up the rainbow, he said, this is a token, this is my covenant, that the rain will never destroy the earth again. He set a bow against destruction, and the devil is a mimic, the devil always copies, and he too has been saying, sir, building bows against the righteous, any bow set to block us, we block it in the name of Jesus. Raze Baba, but it is time for seed. It is seed time, man. As we are breaking the bow, connect to this testimony. Connect to testimony. Anything is possible. Mark 9 23. If only you believe, as you give your seed, we are breaking bows. We are breaking bows. We are breaking bows. Connect to testimony in the name of Jesus. According to 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 6 to 7, when Elisha was told that the axe head, oh, the capital for the business has fallen to the stream, he told them, Bring me a twig, bring me a stick, let your offering be the stick. As you put it into the river, your axe head is coming. As you sow, your blessing is coming. As you sow, your glory is coming. Especially as the bowls have been broken, it is time for deliverance, it is time for sowing. So into these good grounds because things are turning. The miracles is happening. Deliverance is happening. In the name of Jesus, in this season of open doors, bows are broken. Therefore, sow your seed into it. So, and you shall have a good harvest because that which was responsible for your fruitlessness has been broken. In the name of Jesus, brethren, it is time for testimonies. Share your testimony with us for we know the Lord is doing great things. Sir. We want your video testimonies. We want your text messages. Sir. Let us know what the Lord is doing. Because the Lord Jesus said, remember the testimony for the 5,000. That will help you overcome the 4,000. Oh, brethren, share your testimony. His eminence is happy and is committed to take you through. Papa is backing you in this 100 days of prayer, in this 100 days of glory. Receive the strength to go through. Receive the strength to enter your door. You will enter your open door. You will not stand uh, like the man who stood uh, at the waters uh, for 38 years. Uh, you will go through. You will go through as the bowls have been broken. Receive strength uh, because by the supply of the Spirit, uh, this is standing for your favor. Philippians 1:19. Receive the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, receive the supply of the Spirit. Uh, it is standing. It is standing uh, in the place of prayer. We are entering. We are entering, we are entering, we are ending the year in glory and entering the next year in super glory in the name of Jesus. The Lord is your light, the Lord is your salvation, the Lord is your portion. Arise and build in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, brethren. It's a wonderful time to pray with you. Things are going on. Testimonies are flowing. The bowls are broken. The Holy Ghost has equipped you. And Papa is with you. He wants you to know we are praying to you breakthrough. And now is the time for breakthrough. Enter into your joy of the Lord that has been prepared for you all this while. In Jesus' mighty name. See you in the next session. Amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. The Lord bless you. Um, just want to do this opportunity to welcome you all onto these sessions of um, One Million Strong. The Lord bless you for your time. For these hundred days, you are doing well. You are always on the wall. The Lord bless you for standing in the gap. Hallelujah. Um, on that note, I just wanted to um, uh, believe God with me. Let's appreciate 
the grace of God over the life of um, his eminent, the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan William for the visions and for the ability and the grace for us to stand in the gap and pray. The Lord bless him. Can you lift up your voice and begin to thank God for his life? Can you begin to thank God for the grace of God over the life of his eminent, the Archbishop? Father, we thank you for the life of our father, his eminent, the Archbishop, Nicola Duncan William, for this great vision that to have endowed in his spirit. We pray in the name of Jesus that as we keep on praying, Father, let it be credited into his account that he will experience your power and your glory in the power of the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. We thank you for his life. We thank you for his ministry. We thank you for his family. And we thank you for all that which you are using him to do in our generations. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Can you lift up your voice and thank God for your life? Thank God for your life. Thank God for the life of your family. Listen, God has begun this year with you from January. You least expect that you will see today. But here you are today they standing and, and, and very strong in the liberty at which Christ has set you free. Can you begin to thank God for, for, for this life that he has trusted into your hand, for the life that you are living today? Can you thank God? Can you thank God that, that the fact that you are living, you are among the living, you are alive, uh, you are alive, you are alive. You can see today, it means that God has a plan and a purpose for your life. So thank God. Thank him for the victories that you have come across from January to now. Thank him for all the things that you expect from him but you didn't have it you didn't have it then it is true that you didn't have them you didn't have them you wish you could have them i want you to thank god for those things huh? thank god for the victory that he has given you the little little one that he has given you thank god are you lifting up your voice wherever you are and are you thanking god father we thank you for life we thank you for everything for your word said when we have life we have everything therefore we thank you for life today in the name of jesus we worship you and we bless your name in the name of of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I just want to give you this opportunity to invite your friends, your colleagues, pick up this link, share it, uh, put on, on your, your 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 walls and your social media platform, and let's invite all our family and our friends, our loved ones, and last as we stand in prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today we are still dealing with the, the open doors. I'm going to take it into a different dimension. Hallelujah. And I'm taking my scripture from Ezekiel chapter 9, verse number 1. The Bible says that, Then he called out to my hearing, uh, he called out in my hearing with a loud voice, saying, Let those who have charge over the city draw near, each with a deadly weapon in his hand. And suddenly six men came with, with, from the directions of the upper gate. You see that? From the directions of the upper gate, which faced the north, which, which with his battle arts. Hallelujah. The Bible said that each of them came with his battle arts in the name of Jesus in their hand. And the Bible said that one man among them with clothing was clothing with lean and had a white ink horn at his side and the bible says that they went into and they went into stool or to stand beside the bronze altar today we are standing in front of the bronze altar and we are declaring the name of the lord jesus we are deploying our battle ass we are deploying our battle ass we are engaging the hand of the lord that any personality that is positioned at our entrances at our gate at our family house to determine what comes in and what goes out. Every last minute weapons of the enemy, men and women that have been deployed to stand at our gates and to deny us the access and the privileges to experience the glory of the Lord. Today in the name of Jesus, we are deploying the battle of the Lord and we are engaging the angels of hosts and we are declaring in the name of the Lord Jesus whoever they are and wherever they are, let the agenda and the assignment be halted in the name of Jesus. We come against your 
our weapons. We come against the agenda. And we are declaring today that let the angel of the Lord be released with their weapon. The Bible said that I saw six men came out with their deadly weapon. With their weapon to do to do mass slaughter. To enter into the city. To avenge them that have been assigned by the devil. To afflict the people of God. Today I have come in the volume of the book. And I am praying with you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Any weapons of the enemy. Any group of men and women that the enemy has deployed. Into your community. Into your city. Into your churches. Into your home. To afflict you. Into your family. To torture you. Today we engage the angels of hosts. We activate the cherubims. I will declare in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let them rise up with the sword. Yeah, the deadly sword of the Lord. And let them invade the city. And let them enter into town. Them that have been appointed by Satan to afflict your life. Let them be arrested. Let them be arrested. Can you lift up your voice and lift up your and, and activate the scripture right now. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, according to your word, uh, we declare in the name of Jesus, any cartels, uh, any group of men and women that have surrounded our life, uh, that have surrounded our family, that have surrounded our destiny in any shape or form, uh, in the name of Jesus, to battle against us standing at our open doors. Positioning at our open doors, the entrance of our open doors that will not allow us to experience the blessings and the glory of the Lord. Today, in the name of Jesus, we activate the weapons of God. Yeah, the deadly weapons of God. I will declare in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let them enter into town and let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end in the name of Jesus. We declare by the assignment given to the angels. Let them slay. Even the last of them that have been assigned and positioned to afflict your life. I don't know what you have been going through. I don't know what you have been experiencing. But I've come today to tell you in the name of Jesus, if you can rise up in prayer, take the shield of God. You will overcome and become that which God has ordained for your life. The Bible says that the angel of the Lord, they came out with their deadly weapon to enter into the city of Jerusalem, to enter into the street of Jerusalem. And not only that, look at the verse. Look at the verse 3. The Bible says that now the glory of the Lord of God let it say that the glory of the Lord gone up from the from the camp where it has been to the threshold of the temple. And the Bible says that and he called to the the man clothed with lane, who had the white acorn on his side. And he said that, verse 4 said that, And the Lord said to him, Go to the midst of the city, to the midst of, the, uh, of Jerusalem, and put a mark on the forehead of the men who sink and cry over the abomination that are done with, with him. There are men that are crying out against the abominations of the city. There are men like you and I that are standing in the ground, praying for the nation, praying for pastors, praying for churches, praying for our community, praying for our government. But there are some men who are also working evil. The Bible says that those that are crying and are praying, let the Lord mark them. I declare over your life that because you stood in the God, because you pray, because you stand in the God, may the protections of God come upon your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we declare divine protection over your life. May the Lord mark your forehead in the name of the Lord Jesus, that when the, when the angel of the Lord enter into town, you will not be part of them. You will not be part of them because the protections of God, the mark of God is upon your life. We, we are praying today. We are praying today from now to the end of the year. Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Let every wicked man in your family, let them perish in the name of Jesus. Whoever that says that, you will not see your beauty. You will not see the glory of the Lord. You will not test the promises of God. Any man that are working day and night. Day and night, the Bible says that woe to them that write on righteous decree. Anybody writing on righteous decree against your life, against your destiny, against your career, against your family, against your children, against your household, in the name of the Lord Jesus, by the power of the Lord, will deprive the deadly weapon of God against them. I will declare, let them be slain. 
far. Let them be slain. Are you lifting up your voice today? Are you praying right now? Whoever that has vowed, has made a decree, has made a declaration, has made handwriting, ordinances against your life, the Bible says, Woe to them, woe to them, woe to them that write on righteous decree. Whoever that has made a vow to a goddess, to a, an altar, to a deity, to fight your life, may the sword of judgment be released against them. The name of the Lord Jesus, and let them perish. Let them perish. Let them, let them, oh God, never live to see the next day. In the name of the Lord Jesus, are you lifting up your voice and are you praying? In the power of the name of Jesus, we lift up our hands in prayer and we declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, hear the name above every other name. Every wickedness of the wicked that have been deployed in this month, this last month of the year, to surprise our life, to sadden surprise by the fire of God. Let the agenda boomerang. Let the assignment boomerang. Let their conspiracy boomerang. In the name of Jesus, we will not be part and parcel of their wickedness. Therefore, we cry out on the walls of the Lord and we declare, ah, we declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, let them that have been appointed to die by the enemy from now to the end of the year, let them be rescued. We rescue them in the name of Jesus. I command divine rescue. I declare, let the angel of the Lord be released to rescue your life, rescue your family, rescue your loved one from premature death, from untimely death, from any sudden death, sudden projection, any demand of the enemy that has been lifted to take life in your home. We declare, let the demand be reversed in the name of Jesus. Come and shout, the demand be reversed. Shout, be reversed, reverse. We reverse every demand of the enemy. In other words, you will not be a victim. You will not be a victim to the weapons of the enemy. You will not be a victim with this. We, we declare in the name of Jesus, let every weapon, last minute weapon of the enemy in this month of December to sudden surprise you. We declare, let that weapon catch fire. Let it catch fire. Let the weapon catch fire. Let it catch fire. Let it catch fire. Let it catch fire. Clap your hand, lift up your voice. Let that weapon catch fire. We set on fire that weapon. Weapon of last minute disappointment, satanic weapon, demonic weapon, weapons in their hand as a sudden attack against your destiny. Let the weapon catch fire. Let the weapon catch fire. You will not be a victim. Uh, I declare over your life divine escape from all trap, all snare, all ambushment, impending danger, imminent danger, whatever they have calculated. The Bible said that they were looking for an occasion an occasion that they may arrest Daniel. Whatever occasion that they are looking for, from now to the end of this year, uh, to the end of 31st night, to capture your life, to cause you pain, and to cause you to be afflicted, I declare that occasion denied, denied, denied. Someone lift up people and say, I declare occasion denied. I deny the adversary that occasion in the name of Jesus. I declare by prayer on the account of the blood. Let that occasion be denied. The name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I am prophesying over somebody that is still lying there at the hospital bed, listening to this prayer. May the Lord quicken your mortal body. For the Bible says that if the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwelleth in you, it shall revive you. I command your revival. I command your revival. I prophesy by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be revived. And let the weapons of the enemy that have been released, that have been unleashed on your life to cause you to be in pain. Let that weapon be lifted in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I send forth the word of the Lord to enter into your body. I send forth the word of the Lord to enter into your soul. I send forth the word of the Lord to enter into your life. For the Bible says that he sent forth his word. And the word heal us from our diseases. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you and your household, listen to me, you and your household and your family, you will cross this year. You will see many years. In the name of Jesus, you will not die. Declare, say, I shall not die. I will live to declare the words of the Lord in the land of the living. Therefore, any calculation, any assignment, any projection, any high time sensitive projection already in the womb of time against my life, against my destiny, my children, my loved ones, from now to the first night, I cancel it. I override it. I abort it. I reverse it back to send that let it be reversed back to sender in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the Bible says that an evil disease said they cleave it fast to him 
and now that he lies down he shall rise up again no more I am prophesying over your life on that hospital bed that you are rising you are rising you are rising you are rising from that bed arise get out from that bed and walk free because who also so, whosoever Christ has set free he is free indeed I demand and command your freedom Freedom from the powers of affliction. I break your yoke. Son. Someone say my yoke are broken. Say I break every ancient yoke over and against my life, my family, my destiny. Whatever it is that I have deployed against my life. Say break, break, break. Let it break by fire. The name of the Lord Jesus. In other words, you will not serve the purpose of Satan. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I say you will not serve the agenda of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, he that is in us is greater than he that is in the world. Therefore, any position that the enemy has positioned in your life to our free to, we declare, let them backfire in the name of Jesus. Let their weapon backfire. Let their weapon we counter attack every weapon of the enemy. Weapons of premature death. Weapon of sudden death. Weapon of sudden occasion. Any sudden attack. Sudden crisis. Home uh, 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 domestic crisis. Uh, accident. Accident by road, by air, by water. I declare divine exemption in the name of Jesus. I prophesy over your life. Anybody consulting altar to use you as a sacrificial lamp to offer you as a, a sacrificial lamp on a deity, on an altar. I declare divine, re, divine redemption in the name of Jesus. You have been redeemed, brought by the blood of Jesus. Therefore, nobody can, 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 can kill you anyhow. Nobody. Therefore, you will not die. Uh, based on this, you will not die. You will live to declare the word. You will testify the goodness of God. I command the window of escape. I command a doors. Let God grant you a window of escape. I declare a window of escape. You are escaping from the trap. You are escaping from the snare. You are escaping from every demonic ambushment. Especially from now, from now to the end of thirty first night. Whatever they have designed and deployed to make sure that they captured your destiny to capture your life i prophesy over your life let there be a window of divine escape someone shall say i escape the powers of darkness and the broad testing demons that have been assigned to test and to drink your blood not your blood they will be fed by their own flesh and they'll be drunken by their own blood in the name of the lord jesus and therefore we declare let the opposite of their plan okay uh, yeah 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 i say let the opposite of the agenda okay in the name of jesus you will not die can you can you prophesy that over your life and your children say we will not die but we will live to declare the words of the lord i am crossing over to 2024 and beyond i am entering into my open door and nobody can shut it yeah 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 nobody can shut that door because the bible says that i open a two-leaf gate before you who can shut the door that the lord has opened nobody Therefore, prophetically, I speak into your life in the name of Jesus. Somebody, you are at the point of giving up. Don't give up. Don't give up because God is coming through for you. Just, just, just insist in this prayer. Just lift up your voice and force these prayers into your life. I am not giving up. I am not giving up. I will not give up. I will fulfill my divine mandate. I will fulfill my divine purpose. I will live and not die. I will fulfill the purpose at which I was born in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I don't know, I don't care how much the, the, the enemy has afflicted. They say, my enemies rejoice not over me. For when I am down, I will rise up. When I am in darkness, the Lord will be my light. May the Lord be a light around you. From now to the end of this year, may the Lord be a light around you. Oh, I declare that the light of God is shining over your life. The power of God is coming upon you right now. Just arise and shine by faith. Just arise. Just get up from that situation. Say, I am out. I am out from this situation in the name of the Lord Jesus. For the Lord, he will make a way. The Bible says that the Lord will prepare a table before me in the presence of your enemy in the name of jesus ah your caps will run over i prophesy your caps are running over i declare over your life that your caps are running over i speak under the auspices of the holy ghost now whatever they have calculated and whatever they have demand against your life to make your life very heavy let the heaviness be lifted and let the powers of darkness be broken 
in the name of the Lord Jesus, I see God's light shining on your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus, and I declare that the light of God's glory is turning on right now. As we stand before the altar of God, someone say, say, the Lord's light is shining upon me. Say, I declare I'm shining to the glory of God. Somebody prophesy over your life. Say, I am shining. Lift up your voice. Prophesy over your children. Mention their name. Declare over their life that they are shining to the glory of God. They will shine to fulfill the numbers of their days. In the name of Jesus, no weapon formed against them shall prosper. Uh, any weapon that is lifted in judgment, we condemn it. We condemn every tongues, tongues of men, tongues of wicked men, tongues of the devil, tongues of Satan, tongues of the dragon that is lifted against your home, against your household, against your marriage, against your your, your family, against your, your your children. Let that weapons backfire in the name of Jesus. Let that tongues be, be arrested in the name of Jesus. And above all, I come to announce to you in the name of the Lord of hosts that you will prosper. Every last minute blessing that you are waiting for, I command it to be released in the name of Jesus. Any expectations of your the Bible says that the expectations of the righteous shall not be cut off. I stand with you today in the name of the Lord Jesus and we pray together with one accord that let there be the release of every expectations every promises every prophetic word every goodly prophetic word for our life we demand the release now in the name of Jesus I command the release someone say I command the release of my good news of my breakthroughs I command the release of my testimony I command the release of my turnaround I command the release of my financial breakthroughs I command the release of the that document, I command the release of that access. I command the release of that key. Receive that key now in the name of the Lord Jesus. I saw a key that the Lord is giving to somebody. Receive that key. Oh, you will testify it. Receive that key from now to the end of this year. May the Lord give you that key that will open you up to the greater thing that God is have for you. The greater thing that God has planned for you. The Bible says that my plans towards you is not evil. Ah, to give you expected end. The Lord will glorify himself in your life. The Lord will glorify himself in your life. I came to encourage somebody. Don't stop praying. Pray. 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 And God will lift you up. I bless you with the blessings of God. I bless you with the blessings of God. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. People you don't know will come into your aid. People you don't know, they will come and support you. Helpers you don't know will come to help you. Men from Bar Shalisha, they will come in. At the time you need them, they will come into your life. And they will prosper you. They will help you. Helpers are coming back. I say helpers are coming to your life. Divine helpers are coming. People that will not give up on you until you are blessed. I release them into your life. I command the release of people who will not just give up on you. No matter what, they will not give up on you. They will stand with you to the end. Hey, people with divine mandates. They will come into your life and fulfill God's plan. I give glory to God over your life. Now I pray with somebody that is believing God for healing right now. Let the power of God penetrate through this medium. Receive that healing right now. Receive that window right now. Receive that prosperity right now. Receive that answer prayer. Father, let them receive their answer to prayer. In the name of Jesus, I command it, oh God. Let the wind of God blow over them right now. Anyone that is here, that is watching, that is praying alongside, that have been afflicted by demons. Father, let their turn break in the name of Jesus. Break their chains. Break their are yours. Let your burden be lifted. And the glory and the honor will be given to you. Father, I thank you for their life, oh Lord God. Secure their home front. Secure their family. Secure their children. Cover them when they go out. Cover them when they come in. Cover them in every area of their life. Lord, let them cross over this year to another year. Let them see the goodness of God. Let them see your goodness in the next coming year. In the name of Jesus. After the year comes to an end and we count our family members, we will declare none is missing except only the son of perdition. You will live and prosper. In fact, live and prosper. And may the Lord usher you into your abundance of overflow. I see somebody stepping into oil. May the Lord grant you that access and that power to enter into that oil. That oil, that oil, that oil, that oil. oil. Receive that grace to enter into that oil. The Bible says, as for usher, you shall dip your feet in oil. The Lord bless you. 
the Lord keep you up and the Lord make his face shine upon your life. You are blessed and you will cross over. See you. See you. Rise up from that hospital bed and go home. Take your mat and go home. Because the healing power of God has come upon your life. If you believe it, receive it now in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord watch over your life until we meet again in the next watch. Please stand in the gap. The Lord bless you. We are expecting you. If God has done something in your life and give you a testimony, please video record your testimony and share it with us. Let somebody else receive encouragement from that. The Lord bless you. See you again. Amen. people are very dangerous people even when they are weak be careful Jesus said in Luke 18 men ought to always say always not every now and then but what always to pray and not to and one thing you must do whether you are loaded or broke never stop praying Because God is always counting on your prayers to carry out his will on earth. Always. He's counting on your prayers. And I'm telling you, praying people, they never go wrong. I'm telling you. I'm yet to see one praying person. I'm telling you. Who missed it? Even when they fall, they rise. Amen. All right. So I just want to congratulate you and thank you for being an intercessor. Amen. One of the greatest teachers of all time, Charles Pershing, he said something. He said something very powerful. He said, I will rather train one person to pray than to teach ten people to preach. It means that Everybody can teach, but not everybody can pray. Ah, come on, somebody, put your hands together if you're a praying person. Where is Ife? Go with me quickly. Look at, I want to show you two things and then I want us to pray quickly. Uh, Isaiah chapter 10, 1 and 2. Isaiah 10, 1 and 2. Micah 2, 1 to 3. Look at something. Welcome Whoa. to them that decree a righteous decree. So there are people, you know, when I was an unbeliever, eh, we used to go places and we would get people to write people's name and to write what we want. Sometimes even the name of girls you want and they don't want you, you write their names. And they do some things and the girl will like you. Hey Charlie, there are things so it's serious, serious, serious stuff, amen. But there are people who make that. They, you go to them and they will, they will write what you want and it becomes a decree and a law. Then they will let you bury it, take it to places, do all kinds of things with people's name. Today we are declaring anyone that has taken our name anywhere or the name of our children anywhere and has written anything by any means, whatever they used to write, Whatever the pen is, whether it's white or black or red, whatever they have written as a decree in the spirit against you and your children and your business and your loved one. Today, by the blood of Jesus, we abolish that decree. Say abolish. Say whatever they have buried against us, we uproot. And whatever they have released, we intercept. Do you see sometimes when they send missiles to Israel and then Israel will intercept it? Uh -huh. That is what prayer does. Any missile, any arrow they have released between now and 31st December and beyond to cause pain or grief or shame or disappointment in the name of Jesus, reproach, disgrace, scandal. Say in the name of Jesus, we intercept. Put your hands and say intercept.
in the name of Jesus. Amen. Finish it quickly. Finish it. And Finish. that right grievousness uh -huh. which they have prescribed. They what? Prescribe. You know when you go to a doctor, eh? they prescribe medicine. Okay? In the spirit world, they prescribe things. There are family where there is a particular prescription in that family of a particular sickness. There are families where people do well, they go to school, they make money but they can never marry. Or they marry, they can never have children. Or they have children and the marriage must break. I mean, I've seen too many interesting things. I was dealing with a situation when I live in America of a particular family where when the daughters of that family, when they marry, they can't have children. But they can have children when they are dating without married. You know what I said? Yeah. When they are not married, they can have children by sleeping with men. They will have children. But as soon as they marry, they will do everything they can have children. It's a prescription. Certain families that are certain kind of sickness and diseases in that family. And you see everybody from grandmother, grandfather, everybody has that sickness. Today, we decree divine exemptions. Say divine exemptions. Say by the blood of the covenant, we intercept and override and we abolish demonic prescriptions which they have prescribed for me and my family and my bloodline on the ground of any covenant technicality legality or an evil altar in my bloodline paterna and materna in the name of Jesus by the blood of that covenant say I am known every technicality legality legal grounds occasion advantage every covenant demonic altar and the curse of that altar and of that covenant today by the blood of the covenant I am all I know I know put your hands together I know in the name of Jesus now lift your hand say now I command divine exemptions and divine escapes from the consequence of the covenant of the evil altar I connect to this God altar to this holy altar and by the connection to this altar I annul override every other altar in my father's house my mother's house and in the name of Jesus I annul any demonic prescription which they have prescribed to determine the outcome of my life and my circumstances to disadvantage me to hijack my inheritance my possession to divert my blessing and to give my honor to another say in the name of Jesus I am all override and overturn put your hands together in the name of Jesus give me Micah Micah chapter 2 from 1 to 3 I'm giving you ammunition when you get home fire are you hearing me don't just read it hear me reading the Bible doesn't give you an advantage it gives you knowledge it is when you enforce proclaim with your mouth say faith the word of God is released by my mouth. It's when you declare with your mouth, then God is under obligation to do it. Not when you read it. Not when you put it under your pillow. Go ahead. You see another war? If you go to 
if you go to Isaiah 10 1 it's the same thing he said what woe to them here too he said what woe to them so there are them say them all the them do is to plot evil devices against innocent people them whoever the them are in the name of the let curse be upon them let the curse of God come upon them let the them be a curse and let them disappear from the face of the earth in the name of Jesus them that devise our head them that devise mischiefs them that devise conspiracy to our head and demise let them disappear from the face of the earth put your hands God and declare them 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 in the name of Jesus finish it woe to them that devise iniquity iniquity wicked and walk evil upon their beds uh -huh. when the morning is light they practice it because it is in the power of their hand whatever power the them are using Jesus. whatever power it is Jesus. let them lose that power, lose that power. whether the them are in your father's house your mother's house at the marketplace politically spiritually whoever they are whatever power they are using let them lose the power put your hands and command them to lose it we cut the power of your hand cut it off in the name of jesus cut it off your hand in the name of jesus finish finish because it is in the power of their hand uh -huh. Uh -huh. And they convert fields. They what? Convert fields. Say an evil eye. An, an evil eye. eye. Tell somebody. Somebody has his eye. Has on, his on your field. On your field. Yeah. And on they convert fields. Fields. And take them by violence. Take them by violence. And houses. And houses. And take them away. Do you know somebody has his eyes on your house? Uh, Somebody is driving looking at your house. Hey, so who's that? That was here. When we block that eye, pierce that eye in the name of Jesus. Anyone who has imagined something. Eh? Once, how many of you are married? Give me a wave of it. How many of you are married? Okay. How many of you are not married? Some of you, you know why you are not married? I'll show you. Somebody, somebody has tied your husband up. Somebody has tied your wife up. Next week, eh? Next week, one of the prayers we are going to pray. We are going to pray to lose your husband. Lose your wife. Lose your field. Lose your houses. Lose your lands. Anyone that has tied and bind your destiny, your future, your children, we lose them. Say, lose next week eh, i want you to bring two requests not more than two just two requests of what you want god to do between now and 31st december two requests just two bring it places on this altar are you hearing me yeah yeah we will pray at midnight before you come and pour oil on the altar come and put your request here let every unanswered prayer be answered. Amen. Uh, but let me finish this. Let me finish. There's something I have to do quickly. Come with me to 1 Kings chapter 20, verse 1 to 6, quickly. And then I want to end it there. Look at something. Uh -huh. And ben Hada, the uh, king of Syria. ben Hada. That spirit, that spirit of ben Hada is still working on. Spirits don't die. Go ahead. And ben Hada, the king of Syria, mm -hmm. gathered all his hosts together. Mm -hmm. And there were thirty and two kings with him. Uh -huh. And horses and chariots. And he went up and... Somebody said, we scatter demonic cartels. We scatter demonic cartels. <laughs> say, we scatter. We scatter. Demonic reinforcement. Demonic reinforcement. Home and abroad. Home and abroad. Domestic and external. Domestic and external. Within and without. Within and without. Say we break their arms. Put your hands together. Break their arms. Scatter them. 
Lord, we stand at your house. We break your house in the name of Jesus. Whoever they are, whatever they gather, we stand at your house. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead. And there were 13 and two kings with him uh -huh. and horses uh -huh. and chariots yes, sir. and he went up and besieged Samaria uh -huh. and warred against it say every demonic besieged man every demonic besiegement we break through it we break through. so we break through, we break through. The, defenses the defenses of the enemy, of the enemy. Around, us. around us and our goods and our, goods. And our, children. And our children and our loved ones and our, loved ones. And our, nation. And our nation say we bring down, we bring down. Demonic. demonic satanic, satanic. Defenses. defenses break it now in the name of your put hands break put hands gonna break it break we break 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 on fire we break we stop in the name of go ahead Tomorrow evening we are fasting and we are praying. Remember every Friday we fast and pray. These short, short prayers, they don't last though. We need time to bow and to... The Bible says, when my heart is overwhelmed, I will cry out from the ends of the earth. Lead me to a rock that is higher. You know, you know in this kingdom, eh, everything that lasts is through travail. If you don't travail, like a woman goes to the hospital and to the labor to travel you don't bring forth anything so there are people with dreams desires expectations great visions it's not happening you know why because they haven't traveled and travel is a deep place of prayer well mm, give me traveling mothers here mothers who have had babies before ask them they'll tell you Sometimes when I see women go and have babies and they come back and they want to go again, I look at them and say, now, Eddie, and it's okay. But damn. Because when you, I've been to the labor world several times. I didn't like to be there. Sometimes the, my spiritual daughters will insist, I want my father there. Then the husband will come in. And, Papa, your daughter wants you. And I say, want me here for what? Is you do, did it, carry your thing, pray. I'll teach you. And they, they, they say, no, no, Papa, he said he wants you here. And I go there and I'm praying and I'm looking another direction and I'm praying Father in the name of Jesus and you, you can hear them mm, ah, ah, oh. you want breakthrough you have to get to a place of prayer where you can ah. are you hearing me this kind of prayers you are praying is too comfortable you are not feeling anything that's why you pray like you are romancing God uh huh when you are in pain, you pray proper prayer. Go ahead, look at it. Mm -hmm. And he sent messengers to Ahab, uh -huh. king of Israel, uh -huh. into the city. Listen. And said unto him, uh -huh. Thus said Ben Hadad, uh -huh. thy Whatever the enemy have said, whatever they have declared in secret, in private, or in public, where we are concerned and our children and possession and loved one are concerned in the name of the Lord Jesus let their words lose potency let their words in the name of Jesus lose the power and the ability to work we take away the potency of their words command their words to backfire in the name of Jesus Say, let their words, words and pronouncement backfire, 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 backfire in the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Thy silver and thy gold is mine. Here, here. He said what? Thy silver and thy gold. Somebody is, has interest in your silver and your gold. That's why some of you, you don't have silver and you don't have gold. Because somebody has established interest in your silver and interest in your gold so there is an ongoing contention over your gold and your silver that's why you don't have it you should have had it by now but somebody has established interest in what is yours it's like you go and buy a land in Ghana you buy a land I bought land you buy a land you have your documents and somebody else has established an interest in your land so there's a contention you have the money to build you can't build because someone else has interest in it. Anyone who has interest in our silver and in our gold, whoever they are, wherever they are, 
We command them to disappear. Put your hands together. Command them. Disappear. 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 In the name of Jesus. Disappear. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Thy silver and thy gold is mine. Thy wives also and thy children. Uh -huh. Hey! Hey! You know, a young man married in this church. I know him. The, from the honeymoon night, every night when he sleeps, somebody will come and beat him. The person will beat him. He wakes up in the morning with marks on his body and tired, always being beaten. So when they told me, I said, ask the mother of the girl under which circumstances was she pregnant. And it was established that she never got pregnant. So they went to a river god in their village and did some things and she got pregnant and named the child after the river god and had to perform certain rituals and she stopped it. So when they married, the river god came for a claim and said, this one is mine. It's my wife. And you, you don't respect. Eh? So the thing came and would beat him all the time. He left the girl and nobody is beating him. So it's not everybody you marry. Uh -huh. Just because they are born again don't mean you should marry them. Uh -huh. There are some families you go there, they will beat you every night. So, you know why some people are not marrying? Because somebody, a spirit, have established interest in that man and in that woman. So even if you marry them and you are not spiritually strong, they will cause them to misbehave and show you cayenne pepper. And you will say, what is wrong with this man? What is wrong with this woman? And it will never change until you break that curse or yoke or when that marriage is no more, then the person suddenly will become a very nice person. Why? Somebody has established interest. Somebody wants your wife and your husband and wants your children. Go ahead. Thy wives also and thy children. Uh -huh. Even the goodliest are mine. He said anything that is good in your eyes, I put a claim on it. That's why some of you, you don't have good things. Because every good thing that belongs to you, somebody has established interest. And as long as there is interest by somebody in it, you can't have it. You can go, your father can leave you a will. If somebody establishes a claim and he goes to court, you don't have access to it until the case is settled. Today, till the end of this year, let all disputes and contentions over your silver, your gold, your husband, your wives, your children, your health, your goods, let it be settled by the blood of Jesus. Put your hands together and say, Settle. In the name of Jesus. Finish, finish quickly. My time is up. The vision answered and said, uh -huh. My Lord, O King, uh -huh. according to thy saying, I am thine. Listen, all that I have. when it comes to the demands of the enemy, you have to fight. Oh. Tell somebody, fight back. fight back. Don't give in. Tell somebody, don't give in. Don't give in. Fight, back. fight back. And I'll tell you why you must fight. Because if you don't fight, he will come for more. Look at it. Go ahead. Go ahead. And the messengers came again and said, They what? Came again. They what? Came again. Tell somebody, if you give him, if you give him, he will come again. He will come again. Some of you are looking at me with some eye and telling the devil that me, me, I don't like fight. Oh, me, it's not me. It's Papa that is pushing me to say all these things. I didn't say it. It's not me. Tell somebody, you better fight back. Better fight back. You are looking at me. You dare look at me. If you don't fight back, he will what? For more. He will what? For more. He will come for more. Listen. Why? And the messengers came again and said, uh -huh. God speaketh Ben Hadad, saying, uh -huh. uh -huh. Although I have sent unto Although, although I came first, I'm coming again. Why? Listen. 
Although I have sent unto thee, saying, mm -hmm. Thou shalt deliver me thy silver, uh -huh. and thy gold, uh -huh. and thy children, uh -huh. and thy wives, uh -huh. yet I will send my servants unto thee uh -huh. tomorrow, uh -huh. about this time, uh -huh. and they shall search thine house, uh -huh. and the houses of thy servants, uh -huh. and it shall be that whatsoever is pleasant in thine eyes, uh -huh. shall they put, they shall put it in their hand and take it away. Uh -huh. Are you hearing me? Stop there. Today, we release our gold, in the name of Jesus. our silver, in the name of Jesus. wives and husbands, in the name of Jesus. sons and daughters, in the name of Jesus. lands and goods, in the name of Jesus. properties and possessions, in the name of Jesus. honor and good health, in the name of Jesus. favor and glory in the name of Jesus. that has been tied up, held up by another. We command, we command the release, the release of our gold, our, gold, our silver, our, silver, our sons, our marriage, our, 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 our daughters, our breakthroughs, honor and glory, health and power. Release it in the name of Jesus. Put your hands together. Release it. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, lift up your right hand. Say, oh my enemy, oh my enemy, by the blood of the covenant, by the blood of the covenant, I decree and declare, I decree and declare, make no mistake, make no mistake, I will not die prematurely, I will not die prematurely, me and my house, me and my, house, me and my seed, me and my seed, and this altar, and this altar, will not be victims, will not be victims, or casualty, or casualty, of any evil work, of any manipulation of any weapon or programming of yours we will not be victims i will not die prematurely i will not die by land by air by water or in my sleep by food by drink by water or by any circumstance i will not die premature i declare i will outlive all my adversaries i will outlive everyone that wishes me ill i will outlive them declare it in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus. Now lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. Thank you, Lord. Give me Proverbs 16 and 5. 16 and 6. Proverbs 16 and 6. Uh huh. By mercy and truth, uh -huh. iniquity is purged. Yes. And by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. No, no, no. Psalm 16. Psalm 16, verse 6. Here. Sorry, 16 verse 6. The, same. the lines are falling unto me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. Now lift up both of your hands. When I'm going to speak some things, and when I say in the name of Jesus, you scream amen like a believer. Amen? I command, let the lines of blessings fall for you in pleasant places now wait till i say in the name of jesus because nothing happened you see the name of jesus is the seal the name of jesus is the signature when they put jesus in the tomb they put the seal eh, of the emperor of rome on it and you break the seal before you can access the name of jesus is the seal lift up your hands as you live here between now and next week and the end of this year i command let the lines of blessings fall for you in pleasant places in the name of jesus i command the lines of long life 
the lines of longevity to fall for you in pleasant places in the name of Jesus. I command the lines of favor to fall for you on every side in the name of Jesus. I command the lines of supernatural provision to fall for you on pleasant places from today to the end of the year and beyond in the name of Jesus. I command the lines of spiritual, financial, and political exaltations to fall for you in pleasant places from now to the end of the year and beyond in the name of Jesus. I command the lines of goodwill to fall for you in pleasant places from now to the end of the year and beyond in the name of Jesus. Let the lines of divine turnarounds fall for you and all that concerns you from now to the end of the year and beyond in the name of Jesus. Let the lines of good health, good health, good health fall for you and all that concerns you from now to the end of the year and beyond in the name of Jesus. Let the lines of divine escapes, escapes fall for you and all that concerns you between now and the end of this year and beyond in the name of Jesus let the lines of promotion divine elevations fall for you and all that concerns you in pleasant places between now and the end of this year and beyond in the name of Jesus Now let the lines of honor and riches and prosperity and wisdom and strength and glory and honor fall for you and all that concerns you in pleasant places from now to the end of the year and beyond in the name of Jesus. Now, as we close, as we close, let those who hate you see your exaltation and be ashamed. I declare that all those who hate you, between now and the end of this year, they will see the goodness of God in your life. And they shall be greatly ashamed. I declare. The Lord will show you a sign for good. And everyone that hates you. Everyone. That does not like you. For whatever reason. They will see God. Prepare you a table. In the presence of your enemies and will anoint your head with oil Amen. and his goodness and mercy Amen. shall follow you all the days of your life Amen. anyone that hates you Amen. anyone who doesn't like you politically financially spiritually economically at the home front domestic and external home and abroad within and without let them be greatly ashamed let them be put to shame. Put your hands here. I command them to be put to shame. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now, give me, give me Jeremiah 20, 11. Let's see what is there. 
Is it that 2011 or 1120? Quickly. Uh, let me see. But the Lord is with me. That's it. But the That's Lord it. is with me. Everybody, one, two, go. But the Lord is with me as a mighty, terrible one. Therefore, my persecutors shall stumble. They shall not prevail. They shall be greatly ashamed. For their everlasting stumbling, their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. One more time. No, 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 no. Here. That is low energy. Tell somebody it's low energy. Give me high energy. Are you ready? Want to go back? The Lord is with me. As a mighty, terrible one. Therefore, my persecutors shall stumble. They shall not prevail. They shall be greatly ashamed. But they shall not prosper. Their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. Do you believe it? Yes. Scream! Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Most High God. Welcome to another exciting edition of One Million Strong, 100 Days of Intensified Prayer Challenge. Raising one million intercessors across the globe. We are praying for our families. We are praying for our communities. We are praying for our nations. We are praying for our cities. We are praying for our continents. We are standing the gap to stay the hand of the wicked in the name of Jesus Christ. All across the globe, 100 days of intensified prayer challenge. One million strong intercessors. We thank God for the life of His Eminence, the Archbishop Nicholas and Ken Williams, whose obedience and, and humility by God's grace and mercy is one million strong. 100 days of intensified prayer challenge is going on and God is doing amazing things. Hallelujah. If you have not signed up, please look on the screen. Sign up and let's keep praying because when prayer goes up, God always responds. The Bible says that men always ought to pray and not to faint. And as we pray, God will quickly answer us on this word. By the power of the Holy Ghost, there shall be quick answers in the name of Jesus. Oh, say quick answers. Quick answers in the name of Jesus to our prayer because the mighty God is ready to hear us as we pray by the spiritual sacrifice of the precious blood of Jesus Christ. They are not bless you for tuning in. You want to set up watch parties. You want to share, 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 share. Like I always say, let this be an opportunity for you to bless somebody because somebody is going through some dark moments of their life and by sharing, they shall be healed, they shall be delivered and they also shall become evangelists and the Lord, it will be a credit to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. My name is Bishop Fagin Devinja of Action Chapel International, Rich Community Cathedral, Kumasi, Ghana. And you are welcome to this exciting edition of 100 Days of Intensified Prayer Challenge. One million strong we give praise to the most high God. Like I said, mighty things are happening. There's a testimony from Gail Bell from the USA. The message is, the testimony, John 11, 4. The sickness, this sickness is not unto death, but to the glory of God. I have been healed from a rare disease called Shiva Noma, which attacks the nervous system. I had surgery, which was not done properly and caused a reoccurrence. I was infused with hurricane rod from the neck to the back. I suffered for 23 years, but now through intercessory prayer and fasting, God has turned my captivity. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. The scriptures, the Holy Ghost inspired me. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17. Jeremiah 33, 6 and then 7. Psalm 126 and verse 4. Isaiah 35 and verse 6. You can check it out. I'm a miracle working, walking all to the glory of the Most High God. Thankful, thankful, thankful. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. This is what prayer can do. And it can also do for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, share and let's pray. On this watch, we are looking at, in the new year, 5784, we are looking at the power of forgiveness to flow. Hallelujah. Say, let the power of forgiveness flow. Let the power of forgiveness flow. If you are the one who used to keep records of wrong, on this watch, bend them. It should, it should not, it's not your portion. Hallelujah. Because Satan is using it, as, using it as an opportunity to stop your blessing. In this new year, we are not allowing that. Hallelujah. So say, let the power of forgiveness flow. Say, let the power of forgiveness flow. Let the power of forgiveness flow. Oh, hallelujah. In this new year of the open doors. Hallelujah. Now, say, Heavenly Father, on this watch, we magnify your name. We give you praise for the opportunity. With 
thank you for life and we bless your name. Lift up your voice. Let's magnify the name of the Lord. Oh, magnify the name of the Lord. All you say is lift up the, the name of the Lord. Shout to God with the voice of triumph. We exalt your name, O oh God. You are worthy to be exalted. You are worthy to be praised. Father, we thank you for the opportunity. This is the day that you have made that we should rejoice and be glad in it. And we thank you for the opportunity to come before you, O oh God. Stand in the gap. Yes, Lord. One million intercessors across the globe. County, stand in the gap and pray. Father, I said, what you shall agree as touching anything. Whatever we burn on earth is burned in heaven. Father, we thank you for your sure word. 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 We appreciate you for your sure word. We bless you for your sure word. We thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. We bless you for the superior sacrifice of the precious blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you for the name of Jesus. We appreciate you, God. We bless your name. We appreciate your name. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Say, Heavenly Father, on this word, we activate the supreme sacrifice of the precious blood of Jesus Christ that speak better things than that of Abel. Let the blood speak. Let the blood speak better things for us. Let the blood of Jesus Christ speak better things for us. Let the blood speak. Let the blood speak. Let the blood speak better things. Let the blood speak better things concerning my family, concerning our, my, my ministry, concerning the work of my hands. Let the blood speak. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Let's look at what very important. We are, we are saying that let the power of forgiveness flow. Amen. We are looking at our first scripture, Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10 to 11. The new KJ says that, Now, whom you forgive anything, I also forgive. Forgive. If indeed I have forgiven anything, I have forgiven. If I even need I forgive you anything, I have forgiven that one for your sakes in the presence of Christ. Lest Satan should take advantage for us. We are not ignorant of his devices. Hallelujah. We are not, I mean, so unforgiveness has allowed Satan advantage in most of us, our lives, our marriages. Our, our, our relationships at the church, the business, and the Lord, the Satan is causing havoc. He just wants a leeway, a small open door, and he has an opportunity. But on this watch, we are, we are going to allow the power of forgiveness by the power of the Holy Ghost to flow. It doesn't matter what has happened to you. It doesn't matter what the person has done for you. On this one, we are saying that let the power of forgiveness flow. Hallelujah. Let the power of forgiveness flow so that you can receive the blessings of the Lord. So that Satan, could, whatever advantage he has had on you, on this one, as we, are, we pray and allow forgiveness, that advantage is overturned in the name of Jesus Christ. Say overturned. Say overturned. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So hallelujah. So let's look at Ephesians 4. We'll come back to the uh, uh, second Corinthians. So Ephesians 4, 13. To 33 says that let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, evil speaking be put away from you with all malice and be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgive one another, as even as God in Christ forgave you. Hallelujah! You and I, God has forgiven us, and He, did, he didn't count our sin or, or, upon us, but because of the superior sacrifice of the blood of Jesus Christ, therefore, it is wrong for you and I to hold grudges, it is wrong, wrong for you and I not to allow anger, clamor. So, on this watch, we say, Heavenly Father. By the power of the Holy Ghost, by the blood of Jesus, let all bitterness, let all wrath, let all clamor, let evil speaking, I, let I put away, I put away, lift up your voice, begin to pray. We are sounding the word of the Lord, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 31 to 32. Let all bitterness, let all wrath, let all anger, clamor, evil speaking be put away from us right now, right now with all malice. Let it be put away, let it be put away, let it be put away. We cast them out of us, we cast them out of us. The spirit of bitterness, the spirit of wrath, the spirit of anger, the spirit of clamor, evil speaking. Oh Lord, we put away. We reject them all. We reject them all. By the blood of Jesus, lift up your voice. Reject them all. Reject them all. Reject them all. All forms of malice. Reject them all. We reject them all. In this new year, we are not carrying you with us. You are SS luggage. You are SS luggage. We are not carrying you with us. You are SS luggage. We are not carrying you with us. By the blood of Jesus, we, 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 we leave you. We leave you. We put you away. We put you away. We put you away in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. The, 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 the same scripture, Ephesians 4, 31, 32, message translation is posted this way. Make a clean break with all cutting, backbiting, profane talk. 
So say, say Heavenly Father, I make a clean break, a clean break of all cutting, backbiting, profane talk. I make a clean break. Right now, say Heavenly Father, I make a clean break, a clean break, a clean break from cutting, backbiting, profane talk. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice. Father, we make a clean break, a clean break, a clean break, a clean break, a clean break from backbiting, from cutting, profane talk. We decree and declare on this watch. We stand on your word in Ephesians chapter 4, 31 to 32. A clean break, a clean break, a clean break from cutting, backbiting. A clean break, a clean break in the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ. A clean break, a clean break from profane talk, from cutting, from backbiting. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. And because it says that be gentle with, with one another. Say, Heavenly Father, I declare, declare on this word, I'll be gentle with one another. I'll be sensitive. Most of us, we are not sensitive. Most of us, we know the weakness of our, of our friends, of our companions, but we are not sensitive. On this word, we are going to be sensitive. Say, Heavenly Father, in this new year, I shall be sensitive to my brother. I shall be sensitive to my sister. I shall be sensitive to my spouse. I shall be sensitive to my children. Lift up our begin to pray. Father, we shall be sensitive. By the power of the Holy Ghost, we shall be sensitive. We shall be sensitive. We shall be sensitive. We shall have fellow feeling. We shall be sensitive in the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ. We shall be, we shall be sensitive. We shall be sensitive. Fellow feeling. We shall be kind, kind hearted with one another. Tender hearted. Kind, kind to one another and tender hearted. We shall be kind to one another and tender hearted. We shall be kind to one another and tender hearted. We shall be kind to one another and tender hearted. Forgive one another in the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ. We shall be tender hearted. Forgive one another. We shall be tender hearted. Forgive one another. Forgive one another in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, like I told you, says that forgive one another as quickly, as thoroughly as God in Christ forgave you. Hallelujah. You know, as soon as you confess your sin, the Bible says that Jesus is faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. There is quick forgiveness. Oh, hallelujah. Say, Heavenly Father, I decree and declare on this watch, I shall forgive quickly, forgive quickly, and forget, forgive quickly, thoroughly, as God in Christ forgave. Somebody say that I forgive, I don't forget. Please, it is not right. It's not of God. Because you see, God forgives completely. The Bible says that forgive one as quickly and thoroughly. It means that let it live. Forget it. Amen. Let forget it. Let the, tell the Holy Ghost to make sure you forget. Satan is accused of the brethren. You always bring it to your mind. Say, Heavenly Father, on this watch, I decree and declare, I'll forgive quickly. The spirit of forgiveness is my portion. I'll let forgiveness flow. 2024, I'll let forgiveness flow. In the year of 5784, in the year of open doors, I'll decree and declare, rather to open door for the enemy, I'll open door for the Holy Ghost. And therefore, I'll let forgiveness flow. 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 In the mighty precious name of Jesus. I shall be sensitive. I shall forgive quickly and thoroughly as, as God in Christ has forgiven me. As God in Christ has forgiven me. As God in Christ has forgiven me. In Jesus' mighty name. God in Christ has forgiven us. Every sin we ever did. Some of us have done crazy things but God has forgiven us. What right do we have to still hold a grudge against somebody? Oh, hallelujah. It's painful but we are humans. Hallelujah. So on this watch, let the forgiveness go quickly. In the name of Jesus. Say, Heavenly Father. Let the forgiveness go quickly. Let it be my portion in Jesus. Let's look at Colossians 3 and 13. Bear with one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. Oh, hallelujah. Once Christ has forgiven us, we have no business to hold any grudge or not forgive. Say, Heavenly Father. I decree and declare. Thank you for the power of forgiveness. There's the power of forgiveness for me to forgive. Let me forgive my spouse. Let me forgive my child. Let me forgive. Father, the power to forgive. Let the power to forgive come upon my life. Let the power to forgive come upon my life. Let the power to forgive come upon my life. Let the power to forgive come upon my life. In this new year, let the power to forgive. Let the power to forgive. Let forgiveness flow. Let forgiveness flow. Let forgiveness flow. Let forgiveness flow in this new year. Let forgiveness flow. Let forgiveness flow. Let forgiveness flow. Let forgiveness flow. Let's forgiveness flow. Let's forgiveness flow. In the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that forgive 70 times 7. It means that for every, every sin somebody sins against you, you have to forgive 490 times. If you can keep that count, it's not possible. So it means that Jesus is saying that forgive and forget 490 times. So it means that if anybody has done anything wrong with you, if the person even does it again, remember, he has an arrears of, 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 of forgiveness that you're supposed to forgive him. <laughs> Hallelujah. And therefore you can't count it. 
Oh, God, a wonderful God. Wizard. Say, Heavenly Father, I decree and declare. I'll bear one another. I'll bear one another. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'll forgive one another. I'll forgive one another. I'll forgive one another. If I have any complaint against another, oh, Lord, I'll forgive. Any complaint, I'll forgive. Any complaint, I'll forgive. Complaint, I'll forgive. By the blood of Jesus, I'll forgive, oh, Lord. 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 Any unforgiveness, I'll forgive, oh, Lord. On this wash, I let it go. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Colossians chapter 3, the same Colossians chapter 13, amplified, classic. Be gentle and forbearing with one another. If one has a different, a grievance or complaint against one another, readily pardoning each other. Say, Heavenly Father, I readily, quickly forgive anybody who has done me wrong. I let it go. I let it go. He says, even though the Lord has freely forgiven you, you must also what? Forgive. God has forgiven you and I freely. God didn't charge us anything. Why are you trying to let the person come and kneel down and beg you? It's all, it's all not good. Hallelujah. Because what, what, what we have to sow is what? We have to sow mercy. Say, Heavenly Father, I declare, declare, I let the spirit of forgiveness take over me. Let the spirit of forgiveness take over me. On this world, let the spirit of forgiveness take over. Let it take over me. Let it take over me. Let it take over me. Right now, whatever the person has done, whoever has wronged me, let the forgiveness, let the spirit of forgiveness take over. In the name of Jesus, let my Holy Ghost take over my heart. Holy Ghost, take over my heart. Take over my mind. Let that pain go. Let that pain go. Let that pain go. Let that hurt go. It's not easy. Holy Ghost, take over. 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 Let that pain go. Let that pain go. It's so, it's so disappointing. It's so hurt. It hurts so much. It hurts so much. Oh, but let the Holy Ghost take over. Holy Ghost, 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 take over. In Jesus' name, Hallelujah. The Bible says in uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 12, it says that forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Oh, hallelujah. So it's a condition. If you don't forgive, Christ cannot forgive you. Say, Heavenly Father, this is the Lord's prayer. Say, Heavenly Father, I stand on your word. I decree and declare. Forgive, for, forgive me every bit of sin. I've committed as I've forgiven others. Oh Lord, anybody I've held grudge against, anybody I've not forgiven, Heavenly Father, have mercy. Let your blood speak. Have mercy. Forgive me, oh God. I forgive the persons. I forgive all those who have for, for hurt me. And I, I release them, oh God. I release them, oh God. I release them, oh God. Holy Ghost, take over. Holy Ghost, take over my heart. Holy Ghost, take over my heart. Let mercy. I ask for mercy that I can forgive. I ask for mercy. Holy Ghost, I ask for mercy. Holy Ghost, I ask for mercy. Let the blood speak. Let the brothers Christ speak better. That is for me. Holy Ghost, help 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 me. In Jesus, Matthew, you are watching. You are watching. And even there's a political issue where your family has been dealt a very big injustice. The Lord says, forgive. Oh, hallelujah. The Lord says, forgive. So that the Lord can open a greater door for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Heavenly Father. Let the Holy Ghost take over. Let the Holy Ghost help us to forget. Let the Holy Ghost help us to forget. Let the Holy Ghost help us to forget. Holy Ghost help us. Holy Ghost take over. 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 Let us forgive the actors by the blood of Jesus. Help us to forgive. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Now we are coming to our first scripture in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10 to 11. Because we have not allowed the spirit of forgiveness to take over, Satan has had an advantage. Say, Heavenly Father, any occasion, any advantage the enemy has had as a result of forgiveness for my part on this watch, on this watch, on this watch, because I've asked for forgiveness, because I've I've, I've, the blood of Jesus Christ is speaking for me. Let the advantage be overruled. Let the advantage be overruled. Let Satan advantage be overruled. Lift up before begin to pray. Let advantage Satan has had over your life all this year that has blocked your chances. Let it be overruled. Let it be overruled. Any opportunity the enemy has sat on as a result of unforgiveness on this world. We are saying, Satan, you have no right by the blood of Jesus. We are the blood of Jesus. We take you out. We take you out. You have no, you have no right. 
you have no right. The blood is speaking for us. 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 In the advantage over that marriage, in the advantage over that business, in the advantage over that business, Satan, you, you, you have no right. Take off your hands, sir. Take off your hands right now. We destroy your works by the blood of Jesus. We destroy your works by the blood of Jesus. Take off your hands. Any advantage, any advantage, any occasion the enemy has had against us. Oh Lord, we overturn it by the blood. By the blood, we overturn it. We overturn it. We overturn it. Lift up, over, overturn it. Overturn it in that marriage. Overturn it concerning that family. Overturn that advantage. Overturn that advantage in that church. Overturn that advantage. Overturn that advantage. Overturn that advantage. We overturn it. 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 That advantage we overturn. We overturn that advantage. We overturn that advantage. We overturn that advantage. We overturn that advantage. We overturn that advantage right now. We overturn that advantage in the mighty precious name of Jesus. We overturn that advantage. We overturn that advantage. We overturn it. We overturn it. We overturn it. We overturn that advantage right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. We overturn that advantage. We overturn that advantage. Set down side against us. We overturn that advantage. We overturn it. 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 We overturn that advantage. In the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ. We overturn that advantage. We overturn that advantage. We overturn it. We overturn it. That occasion. We overturn it. We overturn it. The number of years the enemy has had advantage. We overturn it. On this watch. On this watch. We overturn it. Over ten, over ten, over ten by the blood. Over ten, over ten, over ten by the blood. We overturn 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 by the blood. In the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ. We overturn by the blood. 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 We overturn it. We overturn it. We overturn it. We overturn it. We overturn by the blood. 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 In Jesus' name, say, Heavenly Father, I overturn by the blood. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We want to look at another scripture in Psalm 133, verse 1 to 3, amplified. The Bible says, How good, how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. It is like the pressure oil of consecration poured on the head, hallelujah, and coming down on the beard, even the beard of Aaron, coming down from the edge, from the, upon the edge of, the, of his priestly robes, concentrating the whole body. Hallelujah. When there's unity, there's consecration. When there's forgiveness, there's consecration. When there's one, there's consecration. The power of the power of unity, the power of two. Uh, the Bible says, "Well, two shall agree as anything." Listen, there's, there's, there's a power. Say, Heavenly Father, let the power of agreement, let the power of unity come upon us right now, as we are forgiven. Let the power of unity come upon us right now. Let the power of unity come upon us right now. Let the power of unity come upon us. Let consecration come upon us. Let the spirit of consecration, let the spirit of consecration come down upon us. Let it come down upon us. Let the let the let, let the Jew of heaven come upon. Now. Let the Holy Ghost power come upon us. Let the Holy Ghost power come upon us as a result, oh God, of us living in love in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name in that church. Let the power of the Holy Ghost take over. In that marriage, let the power of the Holy Ghost take over. As there's reconciliation right now. As there's forgiveness right now. Let that marriage, let that marriage turn around. Let there be a turnaround for that marriage. Let there be a turnaround for that marriage. Let there be a turnaround for that marriage. By the blood of Jesus, we cast out that spirit of, of, of unforgiveness. We cast out that spirit of unforgiveness right now. We cast you out. Leave that home right now. Leave that home right now. Leave that marriage right now. Leave that marriage right now. Holy Ghost, take over. 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 Let the dew of heaven come upon that marriage. Holy Ghost, fill the marriage. Holy Ghost, fill the business. Holy Ghost, fill that church. Holy Ghost, fill that family. Holy Ghost, fill that family. Let there be let there be once more. Fill that friendship. Let there be once more cordiality. Let there be once more unity so that you can command your blessing upon the family. You can command your blessing upon that marriage. You can command your bless upon that business. You can command your blood. Holy Ghost, take over right now. Holy Ghost, take over right now. Holy Ghost, take over right now. Command your blessing. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you for praying with us. On this watch, we stand the word of the Lord in Luke chapter 6, verse 30. The Bible says, like give, and it shall be given back unto you. Good measure. Press down, shake it together, running over. Hallelujah. Four levels of how God will repay us or God will give back unto us as we give. Oh, hallelujah. God is so faithful. 
But his principles don't change. This, 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 this watch, this platform is a fetal platform. The testimonies are mind-blowing. It means that God is here. The Spirit of God is here. Hallelujah. And like I said, we need the, 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 your contributions for the equipment, for hiring of the airtime and all those things. They are very expensive. But your contribution shall go a long way to help somebody's life to be, to be, to be delivered. Somebody to be blessed. Therefore, on this screen, give right now. And as you give, the Lord is going to bless you. you listen, four levels, God is going to give you back. So faithful. God doesn't owe anyone. And we, I mean, God is the one, God is the one that doesn't need a blessing. I mean, we need God's blessing. God doesn't need your seed. But the fact is that for you to activate so that you can be blessed, that's the principle. So, so right now on the screen, so, and this is a fetal field. Your life will never be the same again. Testimonies, mighty testimonies are happening because you are helping, because you are supporting his eminent the Archbishop, Nicholas Akan William. The Nicholas Akan William means you are supporting it to the glory of the Most High God. The Lord bless you for, for, for Boeing. Hallelujah. If you look on the screen, share your testimony. Take a video of yourself. Let people see you share that mighty testimony. As you share that mighty testimony, God is going to cause a completeness of your miracle. Oh, hallelujah. There will be a complete miracle. I mean, God is doing instantaneous things as we are on this platform right now. And therefore, share your testimony. Hallelujah. And you should pray, send up for your prayer request also. Share your testimony and your life will never be the same again. Somebody will be blessed because of you. The Lord bless you for being obedient. Until if, I mean, because, before we go, if you don't have Jesus, a Lord, a personal savior, rapture can take place in a moment from now. If you don't have Jesus, you will not be raptured. Hallelujah. You have to have Jesus, the DNA of Jesus inside you. Say, Heavenly Father, on this watch, I give my life to you. Jesus, take over. Wash me of every bit of sin I ever committed. Write my name in the Lamb Book of Life. Holy Ghost, come and fill me and help me in this exciting journey of Christians. I bless you. I honor you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Keep praying. Keep sharing. Keep watching. The Lord bless you. Amen. Praying people are very dangerous people. Even when they are weak, be careful. Jesus said in Luke 18, men ought to always, say always. always. Not every now and then, oh, but what? Always to pray and not to. And one thing you must do, whether you are loaded or broke, never stop praying. Because God is always counting on your prayers to carry out his will on earth. Always. He's counting on your prayers. And I'm telling you, praying people, they never go wrong. I'm telling you. I'm yet to see one praying person. I'm telling you. Who missed it? Even when they fall, they rise. Amen. All right. So I just want to congratulate you and thank you for being an intercessor. Amen. One of the greatest teachers of all time, Charles Pershing, he said something. He said something very powerful. He said, I will rather train one person to pray than to teach 10 people to preach. It means that Everybody can teach, but not everybody can pray. Ah, come on, somebody, put your hands together if you're a praying person. Where is Ife? Go with me quickly. Look at, I want to show you two things and then I want us to pray quickly. Uh, Isaiah chapter 10, 1 and 2. Isaiah 10, 1 and 2. Micah 2, 1 to 3. Look at something. Welcome Whoa. to them that decree a righteous decree. So there are people, you know, when I was a non-believer, eh, we used to go places and we would get people to write people's name and to write what we want. Sometimes even the name of girls you want and they don't want you write their names. And they do some things and the girl will like you. Hey Charlie, there are things. Oh. This is serious, serious, serious stuff. Amen. 
But there are people who make that. They, you go to them and they will, they will write what you want and it becomes a decree and a law. Then they will let you bury it, take it to places, do all kinds of things with people's name. Today we are declaring anyone that has taken our name anywhere or the name of our children anywhere and has written anything by any means whatever they used to write whatever the pen is whether it's white or black or red whatever they have written as a decree in the spirit against you and your children and your business and your loved one today by the blood of jesus we abolish that decree say abolish say whatever they have buried against us we are brutes and whatever they have released we intercept do you see sometimes when they send missiles to israel and then israel will intercept it uh -huh. that is what prayer does any missile any arrow they have released between now and 31st december and beyond to cause pain or grief or shame or disappointment in the name of jesus reproach disgrace scandal say in the name of jesus we intercept put your hands and say intercept in the name of jesus amen finish it quickly finish it finish. and that right grievousness uh -huh. which they have prescribed they will prescribe you know when you go to a doctor eh, they prescribe medicine okay in the spirit world they prescribe things there are family where there is a particular prescription in that family of a particular sickness there are families where people do well, they go to school, they make money, but they can never marry. Or they marry, they can never have children. Or they have children and the marriage must break. I mean, I've seen too many interesting things. I was dealing with a situation when I lived in America of a particular family where when the daughters of that family, when they marry, they can't have children. But they can have children when they are dating without marriage. You know what I said? Yeah. When they are not married, they can have children by sleeping with men. They will have children. But as soon as they marry, they will do everything they can have children. It's a prescription. Certain families, there are certain kind of sickness and diseases in that family. And you see everybody from grandmother, grandfather, everybody has that sickness. Today, we decree divine exemptions. Say divine exemptions. divine exemptions. Say by the blood of the covenant, the of the covenant. We, intercept we intercept and override, and, override. And, we and we abolish demonic prescriptions, prescriptions. which they, they have prescribed for me and my family, me and, my family. And, my and my bloodline on the ground, on the ground. Of, any of any covenant, technicality, technicality. Legality, legality, or an evil altar. In my bloodline paterna and materna in the name of jesus by the blood of that covenant say i am all every technicality legality legal grounds occasion advantage every covenant demonic altar and the curse of that altar and of that covenant today by the blood of the covenant i am all i know i know put your hands together i know in the name of jesus now lift your hand say now i command now i command divine exemptions and divine escapes from the consequence of the covenant of the evil altar i connect to this god altar to this holy altar and by the connection 
to this altar I am not override every other altar in my father's house my mother's house and in the name of Jesus I am not any demonic prescription which they have prescribed to determine the outcome of my life and my circumstances to disadvantage me to hijack my inheritance my possession to divert my blessing and to give my honor to another say in the name of jesus i am all override and overturn put your hands together in the name of Jesus give me Micah Micah chapter 2 from 1 to 3 I'm giving you ammunition when you get to fire are you hearing me don't just read it hear me reading the Bible doesn't give you an advantage it gives you knowledge it is when you enforce proclaim with your mouth say faith the word of God is released by my mouth is when you declare with your mouth then God is under obligation to do it not when you read it not when you put it under your pillow go ahead you see another war if you go to if you go to Isaiah 10 1 it's the same thing he said what woe to them here too he said what woe to them so there are them say them all the them do is to plot evil devices against innocent people them whoever the them are in the name of the let curse be upon them let the curse of god come upon them let the them be a curse and let them disappear from the face of the earth in the name of jesus them that devise our head them that devise mischiefs them that devise conspiracy to our head and demise let them disappear from the face of the earth put your hands together declare them 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 in the name of jesus finish it war to them that devise iniquity iniquity and walk evil upon their beds uh -huh. when the morning is light they practice it because it is in the power of their hand whatever power the them are using Jesus. whatever power it is Jesus. let them lose that power, lose that power. whether the them are in your father's house your mother's hey. house at the marketplace politically spiritually whoever they are Whatever power they are using, let them lose the power. Put your hands and command them to lose it. We cut the power of your hand. Cut it off in the name of Jesus. Cut it off your hand. In the name of Jesus. Finish. Finish. Because it is in the power of their hand. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And they convert fields. They what? Convert fields. Say an evil eye. An evil eye. Tell somebody, somebody has his eye on your field, on your field. Yeah. And I'll, they convert fields. Fields. And take them by violence. Take them by violence. And houses. And houses. And take them away. Do you know somebody has his eyes on your house? Ah. Somebody is driving, looking at your house. Hey, so who's that? When we block that eye. Yes, that guy in the name of Jesus. Anyone who has imagined something. Eh? Once, how many of you are married? Give me a wave of it. How many of you are married? Okay. How many of you are not married? Some of you, you know why you are not married? I'll show you. Somebody, somebody has tied your husband up. Somebody has tied your wife up. Next week, eh? Next week, one of the prayers we are going to pray. We are going to pray to lose your husband. Lose your wife. Lose your field. Lose your houses. Lose your lands. Anyone that has tied and
bind your destiny, your future, your children. We loose them. Say loose. Next week, eh, I want you to bring two requests, not more than two, just two requests of what you want God to do between now and 31st December. Two requests. Just two. Bring it places on this altar. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Yeah. We will pray at midnight before you come and pour oil on the altar. Come and put your request here. Let every unanswered prayer be answered. Amen. Huh? But let me finish this. Let me finish. There's something I have to do quickly. Come with me to 1 Kings chapter 20, verse 1 to 6, quickly. And then I want to end it there. Look at something. Uh huh. And Ben Hadda, the uh, king of Syria. Ben Hadda. That spirit, that spirit of Ben Hadda is still working on. Spirits don't die. Go ahead. And Ben Hadda, the king of Syria, mm -hmm. gathered all his hosts together. Mm -hmm. And there were 30 and two kings with him. Uh -huh. And horses and chariots. And he went up and. Somebody said, We scatter demonic cartels. We scatter demonic cartels. Say we scatter. We scatter. Demonic reinforcement. Demonic reinforcement. Home and abroad. Home and abroad. Domestic and external. Domestic and external. Within and without. Within and without. Say we break the arms. Put your hands together. Break the around. Scatter them. We scatter the arms. We break the arms in the name of Jesus. Whoever they are, whatever they gather, we scatter the arrow. We in the name of Jesus. Go ahead. And there were thirty and two kings with him, uh -huh. and horses uh -huh. and chariots. Yes, sir. And he went up and uh -huh. besieged Samaria uh -huh. and warred against it. Say every demonic besiegement. Every demonic besiegement. We break through it. We break through. So we break through. Break through. The defenses, the defenses of the enemy, of the enemy. Around, us, around us and our goods and our, goods. And our, children, and our children and our loved ones and our, and our nation and our say we bring down, bring down. demonic, demonic. Satanic, satanic defenses, defenses. break it now in the name of your put your break put your gonna break it break we break 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 on fire we break we stop in the name of go ahead Tomorrow evening we are fasting and we are praying. Remember, every Friday we fast and pray. These short, short prayers, they don't last long. We need time to bow and to... The Bible says, when my heart is overwhelmed, I will cry out from the ends of the earth. Lead me to a rock that is higher. You know, you know in this kingdom, eh, everything that lasts is through travail. If you don't travail, like a woman goes to the hospital and to the labor to travel you don't bring forth anything so there are people with dreams desires expectations great visions it's not happening you know why because they haven't traveled and travel is a deep place of prayer well mm, give me traveling mothers here mothers who have had babies before ask them they'll tell you Sometimes when I see women go and have babies and they come back and they want to go again, I look at them and say, now, Eddie, and it's okay. But damn. Because when you, I've been to the labor world several times. I didn't like to be there. Sometimes the, my spiritual daughters will insist, I want my father there. Then the husband will come in. And, Papa, your daughter wants you. And I say, want me here for what? Is you do, did it, carry your thing, pray. I'll teach you. And they, they, they say, no, no, Papa. He said, he want you here. And I go there and I'm praying and I'm looking another direction and I'm praying Father in the name of Jesus and you, you can hear them mm. ah, ah, oh. you want breakthrough you have to get to a place of prayer where you can ah. are you hearing me this kind of prayers you are praying is too comfortable you are not feeling anything that's why you pray like you are romancing God uh huh when you are in pain, you pray proper prayer. Go ahead, look at it. Mm -hmm. And he sent messengers to Ahab, uh -huh. king of Israel, uh -huh. into the city. Listen. And said unto him, uh -huh. Thus said Ben Hadad, uh -huh. Thy Whatever the enemy have said, whatever they have declared in secret, 
in private or in public where we are concerned and our children and possession and loved one are concerned in the name of the Lord Jesus let their words lose potency let their words in the name of Jesus lose the power and the ability to work we take away the potency of your words command their words to backfire in the name of Jesus say let their words and pronouncement backfire 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 in the name of Jesus go ahead thy silver and thy gold is mine here here he said what thy silver and thy gold somebody is has interest in your silver and your gold that's why some of you you don't have silver and you don't have gold because somebody has established interest in your silver and interest in your gold so there is an ongoing contention over your gold and your silver that's why you don't have it you should have had it by now but somebody has established interest in what is yours it's like you go and buy a land in Ghana you buy a land I bought land you buy a land you have your documents and somebody else has established an interest in your land so there's a contention you have the money to build you can't build because someone else has interest in it anyone who has interest in our silver and in our gold whoever they are wherever they are we command them to disappear put your hands together command them disappear 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 in the name of jesus disappear in the name of go ahead thy silver and thy gold is mine thy wives also and thy children uh -huh. hey. Hey. hey you know a young man married in this church i know him the, from the honeymoon night every night when he sleeps somebody will come and beat him the person will beat him he wakes up in the morning with marks on his body and tired always been beaten so when they told me i said ask the mother of the girl under which circumstances was she pregnant and it was established that she never got pregnant so they went to a river god in their village and did some things and she got pregnant and named the child after the river god and had to perform certain rituals and she stopped it so when they married the river god came for a claim and said this one is mine it's my wife and you you don't respect eh? so the thing came and will beat him all the time he left the girl and Nobody is beating him. So it's not everybody you marry. Oh. Uh -huh. Just because they are born again don't mean you should marry them. Uh -huh. There are some families you go there, they will beat you every night. So, you know why some people are not marrying? Because somebody, a spirit, have established interest in that man and in that woman. So even if you marry them and you are not spiritually strong, they will cause them to misbehave and show you cayenne pepper and you will say what is wrong with this man what is wrong with this woman and it will never change until you break that curse or yoke or when that marriage is no more then the person suddenly will become a very nice person why somebody has established interest somebody wants your wife and your husband and wants your children go ahead Thy wives also and thy children. Uh -huh. Even the goodliest are mine. He said anything that is good in your eyes, I put a claim on it. That's why some of you, you don't have good things. Because every good thing that belongs to you, somebody has established interest. And as long as there is interest by somebody in it, you can't have it. You can go, your father can leave you a will. If somebody establishes a claim, and he goes to court you don't have access to it until the case is settled today till the end of this year let all disputes and contentions 
over your silver, your gold, your husband, your wives, your children, your health, your goods. Let it be settled. By the blood of Jesus, put your hands together and say, Settle. We declare let it be settled. Let there be a divine settlement in the name of Jesus. We are compared to one Satan. In the name of Jesus. Finish, finish quickly. My and time the is up. The official answered and said, uh -huh. My Lord, O King, uh -huh. according to thy saying, I am dying. Listen, all that I have. when it comes to the demands of the enemy, you have to fight to him. Tell somebody, fight back. Don't give in. Tell someone, don't give in. Fight back. And I'll tell you why you must fight. Because if you don't fight, he will come for more. Look at it. Go ahead. Go ahead. And the messengers came again and said, They what? Came again. They what? Came again. Tell somebody, if you give in, if you give in he will come again. He will come again. Some of you are looking at me with some eye. And telling the devil that me, me, I don't like fight to me. It's not me. It's Papa that is pushing me to say all these things. I didn't say it. It's not me. Tell somebody you better fight back. Better fight back. You are looking at me. You dare look at me. If you don't fight back, he will what? For more. He will what? For more. For more. He will come for more. Listen. Right. And the messengers came again and said, uh -huh. God speaketh Ben Hadad, saying, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Although I have sent unto the Although, Although I came first. I'm coming again. Why? Right, listen. Although I have sent unto thee, saying, mm -hmm. Thou shalt deliver me thy silver, uh -huh. and thy gold, uh -huh. and thy children, uh -huh. and thy wives, uh -huh. yet I will send my servants unto thee uh -huh. tomorrow uh -huh. about this time, uh -huh. and they shall search thine house, uh -huh. and the houses of thy servants, uh -huh. and it shall be that whatsoever is pleasant in thine eyes, uh -huh. shall they put they shall put it in their hand and take it away. Uh -huh. Are you hearing me? Stop there. Today, we release our gold, in the name of Jesus. our silver, in the name of Jesus. wives and husbands, in the name of Jesus. sons and daughters, in the name of Jesus. lands and goods, in the name of Jesus. properties and possessions, honor and good health, in the name of Jesus. favor and glory in the name of Jesus. that has been tied up, yes, held up. By another, by another, we command, we command the, release the release of our gold, our, gold, our silver, our, our sons, our marriage, our, 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 our daughters, our breakthroughs, honor and glory, health and power. Release it in the name of Jesus. Put your hands together. Release it. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, lift up your right hand. Say, oh my enemy. Oh my enemy. By the blood of the covenant. By the blood of the covenant. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Make no mistake. Make no mistake. I will not die prematurely. I will not die prematurely. Me and my house. Me and my house. Me and my seed. Me and my seed. And this altar. And this altar. Will not be victims. Will not be victims. Or casualty. Or casualty. Of any evil work. Of any evil work. Of any manipulation, of any, manipulation of, any weapon, of any weapon or programming of yours, programming of yours we will not be victims. Will not be victims. I, will not I will not die prematurely. I will not die, will not die by land, by, land, by, air, by air, by water, by water or, in or in my sleep, by food, by, food, by, drink, by drink, by water, by water or by any circumstance. I will not die premature. I declare. I will outlive all my adversaries. I will outlive everyone that wishes me ill. I will outlive them. Declare it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. Thank you, Lord. 
Give me Proverbs 16 and 5. 16 and 6. Proverbs 16 and 6. Uh-huh. By mercy and truth, uh -huh. iniquity is purged. Yes. And by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. No, no, no. Psalm 16. Psalm 16 verse 6. Here. Sorry. 16 verse 6. The same. The lies are falling unto me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. Now lift up both of your hands. When I'm going to speak some things, and when I say in the name of Jesus, you scream amen like a believer. Amen? I command, let the lines of blessings fall for you in pleasant places. Now, wait till I say in the name of Jesus. Because nothing happened. You see, the name of Jesus is the seal. The name of Jesus is the signature. When they put Jesus in the tomb, they put the seal eh, of the emperor of Rome on it. And you break the seal before you can access. The name of Jesus is the seal. Lift up your hands. As you live here, between now and next week, and the end of this year, I command, let the lines of blessings fall for you in pleasant places in the name of Jesus I command the lines of long life the lines of longevity to fall for you in pleasant places in the name of Jesus I command the lines of favor to fall for you on every side in the name of Jesus I command the lines of supernatural provision to fall for you on pleasant places from today to the end of the year and beyond in the name of Jesus I command the lines of spiritual, financial, and political exaltations to fall for you in pleasant places from now to the end of the year and beyond. In the name of Jesus. I command the lines of goodwill to fall for you in pleasant places from now to the end of the year and beyond in the name of Jesus let the lines of divine turnarounds fall for you and all that concerns you from now to the end of the year and beyond in the name of Jesus let the lines of Good health, good health, good health fall for you and all that concerns you from now to the end of the year and beyond in the name of Jesus. Let the lines of divine escapes, escapes fall for you and all that concerns you between now and the end of this year and beyond. In the name of Jesus. Let the lines of promotion. Divine elevations. Fall for you. And all that concerns you. In pleasant places. Between now and the end of this year. And beyond. In the name of Jesus. Now let the lines. Of honor and riches and prosperity and wisdom and strength and glory and honor fall for you and all that concerns you in pleasant places from now to the end of the year and beyond in the name of Jesus now as we close as we close 
let those who hate you see your exaltation and be ashamed. I declare that all those who hate you between now and the end of this year they will see the goodness of God in your life and they shall be greatly ashamed. I declare the Lord will show you a sign for good and everyone that hates you everyone that does not like you for whatever reason they will see God prepare you a table in the presence of your enemies and will anoint your head with oil and his goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life anyone that hates you anyone who doesn't like you politically financially spiritually economically at the home front domestic and external home and abroad within and without let them be greatly ashamed let them be put to shame put your hands and say i command them to be put to shame in the name of jesus amen amen now give me give me jeremiah 20 11. let's see what is there is it that 20 11 or 11 20 quickly uh, let me see but the lord is with me that's it but the that's lord it. is with me everybody one two go but the lord is with me as a mighty terrible one therefore my persecutors shall stumble they shall not prevail they shall be greatly ashamed for their everlasting confusion their everlasting confusion one more time no 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 here that is low energy tell somebody it's low energy give me high energy are you ready want to go back the lord is with me as a mighty terrible one therefore my persecutors shall stumble and they shall not prevail they shall be greatly ashamed but they shall not prosper their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten do you believe it yes. scream yes. 